Almost there. And greetings on this lovely Thursday night. I am a, <laughs> I am Resplendent Seraph, and tonight we're going to be playing Battletech. We're going to be playing that again, and it's funny how I'm thinking about it. When I started doing this recap for the previous stream episode, what have you, and I'm like, you know, we could beat the game tonight. Now I'm thinking like, man, I don't know what I was thinking at the beginning of last episode because I'm not even sure we're going to beat the game uh, today. I mean, I suppose it's possible, but um, I'm thinking it's much more likely we will get onto the eve of the end of the game tonight. But we're going to get we're going to get there in all due time. Um, we're not going to rush it, but if the opportunity presents itself, we will. But uh, we're not going to that's not going to be my goal to try to rush through things to get to that. Because most likely we're going to do our campaign slash priority mission. And then it's going to make us do one or two other missions in the interim before the final one lands. So that's kind of where we are. Greetings. I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. Uh, last, yeah, last, last, we, last, last episode of Battletech, we didn't do any priority missions. We were going to do the Liberation Turlin mission, but we ended up doing a couple of warm-ups, and then we did that absolutely bonkers attack and defend where the Federated Sons landed an assault lance and just wreaked havoc with the enemy base, and we took advantage of that, flat, you know, circled all around it. And then when we were about to just pull out and avoid all that stuff, the enemy King Crab decided to shoot at my Arbiter, and at that point, that assault lance was already so heavily damaged since we were engaged, it was like, all right, well, let's go get some salvage. And that was how, how that whole mess unfolded. And so without any real ado here, I don't see any reason to kind of drag this out. Let's flip to our end game and let's get this party started. As we wait to, for people to kind of file in here. Today, today. I have the cursor for it. It's, game's taken its sweet time. There it is. <laughs> oh, and as I, you know, I look at it, I really should tinker with my HUD and kind of bring things a little from the edges. It doesn't need to be quite so, so tight along the edges. I do have a little bit of space for some of those to breathe. I should move up my latest follower. I'm always going to have my latest follower and then... At some point, whenever somebody, whenever somebody does donate, I will put a latest donation and the username for that as well. So theoretically, if uh, if anybody wants to donate and have their username up for a really long time, that would uh, that would be the place for that. Obviously, they're not they're not obligatory. I've got a full time job and all that, but um, figured well, I mean, I may as well make it possible in case somebody really likes the stream and wants to donate and help improve things. Uh, make that possible. So set that up. My uh, my bot is now working as it should. I just got to give it more commands. And uh, I just activated the lurk command for it finally. I don't think anybody's attempted to use the lurk on it, but, but they can. It is now possible. Of course, I saved it twice. Because of course, I saved it twice. But I knew. But I'd rather, I'd rather save it twice than, uh, than not at all and lose progress. The advantage of taking all the travel last time, though, we could just get right into the thick of it. I'll read out the opening kind of scenario. Although I think most of the scenario plays out after you first begin with a little bit of that story. We got two days of Turlin travel. I don't think we have any XP to spend, but let's check anyway. Good to go. Commander? Ooh, I'm glad I checked. Yes, we will upgrade yours. Confirm, Commander. Yeah, he's still benefiting from the simulator. That's what's going on there. Standing by. You don't have anything. Ready for orders. You don't have anything. 
you're all maxed out, and you gained out. So, nothing. That's what I thought. Engineering, ship upgrades. I don't think we have them. Oh, we do have a ship upgrade in progress. I wonder what we spent all that. We must have spent it buying really expensive lost tech. So, yes! Away we go! As we enter in standard orbit. Yes, let us proceed. That looks like a good... Oh, right. Okay. So, yes, we are going to remove the archer. And we're going to bring this Cyclops. That is going to be an amazing layout. And that actually makes him make a little more sense. Because now I can have him sensor lock and make things a little more, um, open things up a little bit more for Renegade with LRMs, Slam in the Atlas, and Glitch in the Marauder here. I guess the question is, yeah, no, we'll bring Behemoth for the Atlas for sure, but we're still going to bring Glitch for that Marauder. Although, kind of tempted to switch her out for this Highlander, but I still think we'll keep the Marauder just by virtue at this point for boosting everybody's armor a little bit because that again that uh the lance command mod it provides better defense against incoming attacks yeah everybody takes 10 percent less damage which may not sound like a lot but over the course of an entire battle that's a lot of damage that you should take that we're not taking so i'm a i'm a big fan of that it ends up, that Marauder ends up being extremely valuable comparatively. Although if we get, you know, a Star League Heavy Mech or Assault Mech, we're replacing the Marauder at that point. But for right now, this, this stance. Although we may end up finding ours a Star League Marauder, in which case that would just replace it and we might, we might just keep that for the, the entire rest of the way. But we'll, we'll see what mechs happen to cross our path. And we'll go from there. Let us deploy. They look good here. Perfect. And we'll get this party started. It would be nice if we could beat the game tonight. So technically there are three. Oh, okay. Let's let's read off this first. First off, uh, this is it. Renegade, the Directorate's last stronghold on our way to Coromadir. We're going to liberate this system and set House Parada free. I have an invasion fleet en route to take the spaceport in a surprise attack, but the shipyard's gun batteries are going to be a problem. You need to take them offline before our ships arrive. And of course, Darius's input here. Most of Espinosa's dropship fleet is grounded on Turlin right now. If we take this system from them, there'll be nothing left between us and the throne world. And he's right. Um, if we do succeed at this mission, pretty much there are two priority missions that take place on Coromadir. So we would have to not only finish this, but take care of a couple of missions in between. Commander, we're making a push on the Directorate's primary shipyard. If our attack is successful, what's left of my uncle's fleet will be rendered useless. But we're going to need your help. Sorry, I need a little caffeine now. It has been a long week. <laughs> The shipyard is protected by enormous gun batteries that draw their power from the generators in front of you. I need you to destroy those generators before our dropships enter their weapons range, which means this is a timed mission. There are three generators designated Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Take out all three structures, mop up any surviving directorate units, and our dropship fleet will be clear to handle the rest. Go take out those generators, Commander. And do it quickly. Our entire plan falls apart if those guns stay online. And we've got 17 rounds to do it, which usually is enough. But it also means we really can't dawdle too much. We are definitely going to take the road here. That spider... Ah, yes. That spider is a directorate prototype, specifically modified to serve as a forward observer. I've heard stories about these. Oh, perfect timing for the music. They could fight, but their primary function is making, uh, is marking targets for artillery bombardment. So yeah, that spider, we need to kill that at with all due haste. That's not good. Keep your eyes open, boss. 
The Directorate has too much valuable hardware out there to risk firing their artillery blind. If you can destroy all the forward observers, it should stop them from calling out any future artillery strikes. But be careful. Any targets they've already marked will still be in danger of bombardment. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to take out those. Heading out. And yeah, we'll just advance possible. Coordinates received. And what we'll do. Sure, we'll do that. I mean, I don't like being clustered because we're vulnerable to stray fire. But we need to get as close as we can and we just we gotta stay on schedule to make this whole thing work. Incoming artillery fire. And just I've like that, we need to move. <laughs> so pretty much the way this works is anything in this zone is going to get destroyed. Or at the very least take a fuck ton of damage. But yeah. <laughs> Units in this location are at risk of destruction. Yeah, so pretty much anything here is going to get blown up. Let's see. Jump. All right, so I'm going to jump up here. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to take out this turret. Engaging jump jets. That's the advantage of the jump jet. Kind of maneuver and not have to worry about some of this shit. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be able to take out that turret and then everybody else I probably will sprint. Probably didn't even need to fire missiles at that target, but really didn't want to mess around. Okay, good. I can come up here and fire at that, so I think that's exactly what we're going to do. You know what? Let's go to that one. Shape that way. Hopefully this mountain here, this little rock outcropping, will prevent enough line of sight for the Marauder to get actually fired upon. Oh god, that is terrible. <sighs> okay. So we're going to take a weird... We got a 55... Ugh. Oh, I can't take it out anyway. Even if I get the head hit, it does, it's, it's going to be one shy. It's going to be one shy to take it out. That is the problem there. Okay. Never mind. We are not going to bother with that. We'll fire the lasers. They're terrible to, odd to hit, but out of this, one of these three should hit that Jenner. We should do some damage to it, and at least we'll knock off some of the evasion. All right, so we hit with the AC, with the auto cannon. Not terrible. Orders. Okay, so this is obvious. We're gonna go here, fire at that fucking On priority target. And our Cyclops gets some work already. Oof. I only have so much ammunition with that Elorant with that ultra auto cannon. Although I would would take out the generator with that, but I think we're okay with this. Let's just fire at it with those two medium lasers. We'll soften it up, and we'll go from here. Locked on. Behemoth should be able to finish it off with an LRM battery, and I don't think she's going to be in position to do anything else anyway. So I would rather keep ready for orders. The ammunition. Uh, yes, we'll go here. Sidestep that artillery. Yep, that's exactly what we'll do. Location confirmed. And hopefully launch a swarm of LRMs that will take out that building. Yep, we should have it. Good. Locking on. That's one generator down. You've got two more to go. Keep fighting. Of course, the skirmish here is just beginning. And we need to make sure these guys don't waste our waste our time and slow us down too bad. 
also sucks is there's very little cover on this map. We need to stay moving, keep our evasion up. I mean, there's still terrain features that we could use to our advantage. At least these fuckers can't shoot at her at the moment. And yeah, we definitely have to worry about artillery. Which is definitely a concern both in lore and the tabletop me? game. Although I think this game... Well, this game uses artillery at times, but it doesn't overuse it. Um, MechWarrior 5 introduced artillery late in the development cycle of that game, and then they overused it. It seemed like every map had artillery, and artillery in that game is really obnoxious. It's not particularly designed well. Um, and it's and it's on a lot of maps, and it, it ends up really affecting things disproportionately. Like, this is a concern, right? You got to avoid it. But with Mech Warrior 5, sometimes you might end up with like the entire field ends up being just a Venn diagram of red. And it's like, really? Where am I supposed to go? It's, um, it's annoying. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we're now, because of the Cyclops, we're now going in a uh, very good. Yeah, we'll do that. And I will be in better position. Engaging jump jets. So let's hop up here. Because, yes, initiative-wise, we're now operating much better. Okay, I think I should worry about the spider. Granted, we got to destroy two spotters. But considering how dangerous it all is... Yeah, let's just core the spider and be done with it. Engaging target. Oh, they missed with the fucking gauze rifle. We may still, yeah, good. Repeat, we have a mech warrior down. Our land's integrity is compromised, requesting support. <laughs> but the spiders are so lightly armored that it, it just didn't matter. Waiting for orders. Uh, that's an interesting question. Do I just go up and smack the Jenner? I don't like that plan, actually. Let's do that. Uh-huh. Because the Jenner still is hard to hit. This will deliver. Oh, come on. That sh still should have hit. We had like an 85% chance to time. hit there. Damn it, Glitch. Hi, hi. You suck, Glitch. Yeah, the whole point of that was to... Um... You know what? Coordinates received. We'll reposition here. Fortunately, because Glitch missed, now we have to do something a little different. Let's just uh, go for maximum damage here. Let her rip. It's kind of going for the, going oh, for the yeah. complete kill there. Because no matter what the percentage is, it's very rare for the Ultra AC-20 to hit with both times, even if it's a high percentage shot. I don't know what it is, it is just super rare for both, for both to land. But at least what it does do is generally make it more likely that something hits. So I'm not too worried about this quick draw. But I really want that very Roger. annoying Jenner to go down. Let's try this again. There we go. Head destroyed. We got it. Don't even have to worry about this fucking Jenner anymore. <laughs> Target neutralized. Thankfully, Behemoth's got from the event high uh, spirits, so it doesn't cost her nearly as much to do that. So we'll be doing that a lot with the Atlas today. So at this point, I probably have the Cyclops and the Atlas target the vehicles while I'm recovering the recoil on the autocannon. And all the other two mechs worrying more about the quick draw. Still have to worry about the other spider that's out there as we continue to get work our way up. Fuck. Uh, oh, right. Okay. 
now they've marked this. Yeah, that always makes me a little nervous when they mark new, new artillery and then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so there's our other spider. That's the one we have to destroy. Good. So here's kind of how I plan to do this. This is a good ex time to explain this. There's this kind of valley up here and some targets up here. What I will probably do is send the Highlander in Glitch, because the Marauder is a little more mobile, up this way. And I'm going to send Medusa and Behemoth in the slower mechs along the road this way, so that when we get up here and there's going to be a force up here, we'll have one side with the Atlas and the Cyclops on one side, and on the other side we'll have a Highlander and the Marauder, and we'll have them in a nice crossfire. It'll work out very, very well. At least it should. Okay, so yeah, let's just jump here. Yeah, there's really no other better way to do it. Engaging jump jets. This. Those are pretty good percentages to hit. So let's just do that and let's open fire on the quick draw. Go. Blew off its arm. And I'm probably gonna have Glitch do the same thing. I hear ya. Ah, oh, damn, man. So I can have her go here. Well, that would be in the back. What I may do is have her go here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just shoot the quick draw in the back then. That's fine. Got it. I got to get out of the artillery zone. And that's as good as just. That's as good a way to advance towards this as any. Now, put it right in the back. Take this. Well, we missed with the auto cannon. We may still pour it. We did. Nice. Should have run when you had the chance. So in a way, maybe I should have had Glitch do that first, and then had the Highlander jump. But I knew. Renegade would have a good chance to hit the quick draw and I wanted to whittle down its evasion a little bit Because the worst is when you get into a position like that and you fire and because of all those evasion pips you end up missing That's that's you. That sucks. Let me tell you <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, here's the problem with the uh, with that auto cannon Good grief all that movement, but okay Let's continue. Yeah, let's we'll just charge ahead here. I'll have you fire. I won't fire the auto cannon or the LRMs. We're just gonna fire two medium lasers at the spider. Still managed to hit. Now Behemoth will get a chance to go and have a slightly better chance to hit. And then both Reporting Behemoth and Cyclops damage. will be able to stomp on those vehicles. Yes, Commander. It'll be a fun time. Hmm. I think that's yeah. That's better. All right. Kind of same deal. Coordinates received. Gonna have her hold off on the auto cannon. Sucks that we had to waste all that AC ammunition against a fucking Jenner of all things, but this should still hurt it. Yeah, since she has a bonus to that. And we're just gonna go for the coring it. Affirmative. We may end up just coring the spider right here. It's got next to no armor. Good. Now we don't have to worry about artillery after this incoming barrage. These two will take out the vehicles and we can start beating feet up the mountain. So, so far we're on schedule. We took a little more damage than I would like, especially the Cyclops. But, looks like all the spiders for now. But stay sharp, we don't know what else might be out there. Yeah, whatever's left of the Jenner got uh, obliterated. <laughs> Right. So 
this point, jump. And what? Yeah. Oh, good grief. All right, well, yeah. Go and deal with the striker. Let's see if that vehicle, other vehicle, will leave the area. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Actually, you know what I might do? I might just jump. You know what? We'll go up here and I'll just shoot the striker. Engaging jump jet. And maybe I'll have Behemoth just run for it. That's enough of that vehicle. <laughs> Very nice. Good. Right. What can Glitch. I do for you? Sprint. Yep. Have you sprint there? Because I'm dodging artillery. <laughs> but this artillery is much more fun to dodge because it ends up being a tactical concern. And you guys will see when I eventually get to playing Order. Mech Warrior 5. Avoiding the artillery in that game Got is it. a no really Definitely. annoying hassle. And part of it is it's just such a, again, it's such a poor implementation of that artillery. You could just walk backwards and the artillery will never hit you because it's designed to just target where you're going. So there's, there's no, there's really no AI sophistication to it in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Yeah, the artillery completely obliterating my potential savage. <laughs> but if enemy mechs had been caught in the area, they would be getting their ass kicked right about now. I've never actually seen that happen, but I got to imagine it's possible. Let's see, will I get further by that or am I better off jumping? I will get further that way, so let's... Do that. Full That's right. Waiting on you, Commander. Hmm. Shoot at something. Oh, I can shoot at something. Uh, all right. Well, let's go over here. Gotta love the extreme range of the PPC. You betcha. All right. Uh, yes. Man, we're going to be a hair shy, but whatever. Uh huh. Behemoth might be able to hit it with a LRM. Actually, Medusa might be able to hit it with an LRM. Mm. Yeah, I'd have to get over there to fire an LRM at it. I'm not. I'm better off not bothering. Let's just get the. Copy that. Let's just stay on task. Sprint full throttle up that way. And naturally, Medusa gets to go a little Waiting bit before. Orders. But it's pretty cool to have an Atlas going in the heavy phase. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, now that we have the Cyclops, I'm starting to like the decision to go this route a little bit better. All right, so yeah, we'll target this. Let's see what we got. We'll have two targets over here, probably both turrets. Yep. <sighs> yeah, let's save our ammunition. We'll just shoot that with those medium lasers and be done with it. Engaging target. So I'd rather have Glitch be able to sprint. I hear ya. That is a much better decision. Fair. Going turbo. <laughs> we do need to destroy generator Bravo. So at this point, I'm gonna have the Highlander try to jump up here and do some damage. That's gonna work. But I am going to try fire missiles at that turret. So you know what? 
we'll do that. Support over here. No, we're gonna stay on task over here. Double time. Let's go. I need, I need my really heavy weapons platforms in position. That is vital. So no reason to be short-sighted there. Keep working on those generators, Commander. Those ground batteries need to be down before our drop ships draw within range. And as you can see, this is one of the reasons why I decided to keep going, because we only have 10 rounds left. The time goes very quickly. Oh, I can't get up there in time. I was kind of hoping to get up there. All right, I think what I'll do is I'll jump here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'd rather, oh, well, okay, fine. Yeah, I'd rather jump there and just shoot you with lasers. All right, fine, we'll do that. Position ourselves there in case something else shows up now. How much damage, 150? Yeah, as long as these things hit, we should be good. Fire. Good. Target destroyed. That is exactly what I want. Waiting for order. Glitch can't move up there, but there's over here, and we can start getting towards the road. <laughs> I love this shit in the background. Waiting for orders. And the sheer amount of evasion. Roger that. Look at all those evasion pips for an assault mech. That is insane. Yeah, the Cyclops uh, doesn't have nearly the armament of the Atlas armor What's or ordnance. But, I mean, even this sprinting is pretty good, though. But yeah, six evasion pips. Granted, I've got pilots that are really good, but um, that little extra mobility is something that's really nice to have. There we go. I've got a new group of hostiles on screen. Watch yourself. They've got an artillery spotter. So that'll be our first priority. And of course, these little bastards get to go first. This. I got a trebuchet. That would be a problem if I had to worry about it. Of course, it misses her. <laughs> all right, so first things first, the priority. Uh, all right, so I need to get up toward this generator, but I can't do that yet. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump up here for right now. Get some position. Really, there's not a whole lot I could do up here. So I think it's time to just let's be efficient. Let's take out this trebuchet. I do like one alpha strike to kill ratio. <laughs> but if they sent in a Jaeger mech, Vindicator, all of those mechs, they've got some pretty good damage output to them, a trebuchet, but all of them have ammo or armor issues to them. Good to go. Like almost to a fault. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> Like, obviously, they, from a game design standpoint, it's good because it's almost like this lance is designed to be threatening, but also easily killed in very few salvos. Okay, we'll just shoot you. 
Got it. Yeah, that spider doesn't have nearly enough evasion to be dealing with mechs as heavy as I'm bringing to this fight. Came from. Ready for orders. I'm not going to, uh... You know what? Let's reserve. I'd rather keep the evasion. Roger that. For just this reason. But it's nice that I had the choice. I mean, I could have just shot at that Jaeger mech and it had no defensive, no evasion, nothing. It was just sitting duck there. But still, that was the better decision. Aye, aye. Holding. So I really didn't want to put myself in a position where I'd have to worry about getting Commander. shot at. Actually, let's have what you, you advance. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to train to worry about anyway. I am not going to fire that auto cannon at that spider. Although if I did fire the auto cannon at the spider, it'd be dead. Maybe I should fire the auto. You know what? I'm gonna fire at that spider. Decision strike you. Because fuck you. That's why. That's it. <laughs> That's the last of their forward observers. Nice work. I'm not seeing any more activity from their artillery emplacements. That's something we are gonna have to deal with with the Atlas. Is address its horrendously low. Receiving you. Ammunition repository for uh, did that Jaeger mech turn its back to me? Seriously? The only problem is I can't take advantage of it because it's out of range of the autocannon. That's extremely unfortunate. Although that Vindicator also has its back to me, so fine. We'll put one in the back. And I think the Cyclops will get to go first. So fuck it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Putting it in the back. The That's enough for that. Jeez. <laughs> and that was the advantage of coming into that pincer moment. It, movement. It had to pick somebody to go after, which means one of these bastards was going to show one of the wrong sides its back. The problem is that spider did get a chance to spot ever so ever so briefly. Standing by. But this is okay, because now we'll just show up here. Man, that freaking recoil is just crazy. Fucking recoil, man. That's the only problem with the autocannon. Or at least the ultra autocannon. That recoil is just a total bitch. Yeah, we'll precision strike. Just to make it at least possible one of these hits. Let's go for it. Here it comes. Wow, both of them hit. Just when I was talking shit about it never hitting twice. Tango down. Oof. 220 fucking auto cannon rounds right into its back. Yeah, nothing. Nothing could have survived that. Really? Alright, fine. Well. I wish it would preview what could hit there, but oh, can't do anything about that. We're going to go here. Good. 150. You know what? I'm going to save that. Actually, I'm going to save my... I'm going to save all of it. We're only going to fire missile lasers. That will be plenty for that generator. Laser vomit show. Second generator down. All right. We've got one left. And we got eight rounds. We're we're doing good. We're actually a little what can I do for you? ahead of schedule. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do without that. So what we will do is we'll advance here and we'll shoot at the turret. Yeah. Open fire. We can't destroy it. Got it. But we'll virtually destroy it, and then someone will finish it off with another M20 blast. Yeah, behemoth. That works for me. Hmm. Making sure to avoid artillery here. Gotta love cliff assaults. <clears throat> Acknowledged. And historically, fun fact, cliff assaults are actually the most difficult type of assault One to ever turn. undertake in any kind of combat situation. I feel like it should be fairly obvious, but yeah, any type of uh, any time a historian has ever interviewed veterans of any kind of conflict and they ask 
what's the toughest or they ask about cliff assaults every time it's the feedback is it's it's an absolute shit show for lack of a better word I mean, it's so easy to defend cliffs. <laughs> it's just, like, come on, it's uh. Did that? Did I destroy that turret? I feel like I had a turret to worry about here. Didn't I have a turret to worry about? I feel like I had a turret to worry about. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I don't have a turret to worry about. Yes, yeah, sprint, because that's further than I can get with a jump. Yes, let's go this way. Full throttle. Hmm. I guess when you take out the generator, the turret goes with it. That's good to know. Did I not ever find that out before? Huh. Or do I just not remember? I probably just don't remember. Waiting on you, Commander. Yep, we're going to sprint. In case one of them is end ends up being able to fire upon me, we'll give it as much of a face as possible. Same thing with the assault mechs. We'll sprint. We'll get to the very top, Commander. Yep, sprint time. Affirmative. Yeah, we we generated a lot of heat, but that was worth it because now we're sprinting. So it was worth it to expend all that heat. Standing by. And take out the entire enemy force entirely. So this assault so far is Lady going really well. Lady Arana, we advise that we're about to enter the shipyard's weapon range. I hope to hell your mercenary is almost finished with those generators. This is getting way too close for comfort. <laughs> you heard her, and you know what you have to do. Please, Commander, we're almost out of time. So let's go here. We'll take out the medium On turret. My way. We've got this. At this point, we really don't even need to really hurry but if by that notification if we were still dealing with making our way up the mountain entirely that would have been a concern but we're almost at the top now Roger that. Firing on target. okay at this point i don't think probably the best i could do fire lrms Finish off that turret. That's what LRMs are for. The Highlander's so far behind. A little bit of sprinting I don't think would have made that much of a difference. But at least this way, the two assault mechs will be right behind the Marauder. And we'll go in at least with a few together. Good to go. Or Behemoth is going to definitely be behind. Going full throttle. Just the Atlas and the Atlas 2 are just so slow. Although they look badass. <laughs> what can I do for you? There it begins. Ah, we just fire on it. Don't need to tell me twice. Yes, we will. We will do that. We're not overheating. That's not worth that. Tell me what to shoot. That's it. That's the last of the generators. Good job, Commander. The ground batteries are down and our dropships are clear to attack the shipyard. Mop up any remaining hostiles. There are none. And I'll send Sumeri to extract you. Nicely done, Commander. The enemy has been vanquished, and Turlin is ours. Now there's nothing left between us, Cormodir. I'll drink to that. Hell, we all will. I've got a keg of Tabiqui Dark waiting in the Argo's galley, and this feels like as good a time as any to crack it open. When we get back home, we're celebrating, and drinks are on me. Mission successful. So yeah, gone are the dark dog days of Invasion Smithin, where we were woefully underprepared for the type of defense we had to deal with at that stage of the game. Kind of, as I said, that almost like the deeper into the game you go, it almost gets a little easier once you once you get to this point. Your pilots are better, your mechs are better. 
Um, you could you could handle the challenges that the game sends your way a little bit better. Let's take a look here. Eh, it's probably an AC2 that we'll want to take. Yeah, we'll take the plus 10 damage medium laser. That's a good bet. Let's take the plus damage SRM6. All right. And then, yeah, geez, they certainly give you enough spider salvage. I'd rather take the heavier bit. Uh, sure, I'll take one. Maybe we could pile another. Yep, it did. So we put together a spider. We could sell that. Done. And now we'll see if we could beat the game tonight and see if we get the Cormadir priority missions to pop up. Or if it makes sense just to kind of dick around. Probably makes sense just to chill and play a couple of missions now. Ah, Hermistus. Here's where things get... <laughs> this is... This is where the plot gets interesting again. This message is for High Lady Kamea Arano of the Oregon Reach. I am a lady. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> I am Elena Marisol Chaplin, personal attaché to Protector Thomas Calderon of the Torian Concordat. The Torian Ministry of Intelligence has confirmed the authenticity of the evidence that you sent us. You have our thanks. It would seem that your uncle's duplicity has left its mark on us all. <laughs> I'll say nothing at this point. Our ambassadors have been in communication with representatives of the Federated Sons, and they are negotiating a de-escalation of force along our shared border. All cooperation between the Torian Concordat and the Directorate has officially been terminated. We have also withdrawn our fleet, and Director Santiago Espinosa has been recognized as an enemy of the Torian state. Should he ever dare to leave Oregon space, he will have us to contend with. Yeah, I can understand them being completely pissed off. Finally, I will personally review your reports of Torian war crimes in the Reach. If I find them credible... <laughs> I will hold Commodore Ostergaard accountable for his actions upon his return. If what you've told me is true, he will stand before a firing squad. You have my word. Color me a little skeptical, but it's interesting that uh, that she would be so uh, so ab abhorred by the report. Although, if I were in her shoes, I would be like. I would probably be very skeptical, but if I verified him, it's like, you did what in our fucking name? Yeah, you're getting before a firing squad, you asshole. With that, our business is concluded. Be well, Lady Arano. Protector Calderon wishes you success in your campaign to come. Now, the only gripe with this game is you are still loathed by the Torian Concord at this point. My only gripe at this point would be with, if I were the Concord liaison, looking at all this and be like, you know what? I totally understand why you were fighting Ostergaard. He doesn't really represent us. We don't necessarily like you, but we'll reset your reputation to zero because you were operating under a false whatever. Uh, we, we could start with a clean slate, but if you still take missions against us, we'll, 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 we'll take that personally. But yeah, no, despite this, despite proving that the Concordat were, were played they still hate your guts. Um, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> and then when it comes to that, I'm pleasantly surprised. Maybe now my people will be able to breathe a little easier. Mine too. It's good to know that we don't need to worry about a Federation invasion force coming across our border anytime soon. Emphasis on the anytime soon, of course. But we could worry about the future another day. Hey, Deep Fry, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. How is you? Uh, how are you on this lovely Thursday evening? In any case, Lady Arano, I think that congratulations are in order. With Turlin liberated and the Torians out of the war, there's nothing left between us and the throne. The Directorate still has one card they can play. They have Lord Madeira. When we move on Cora Madeira, I will negotiate for his release. But first, I must rally the Founding Houses. When I travel to Cora Madeira, it will be with all of our allies and their armies at my back. I want the throne world skies crowded with our dropships. Hey, Ghosty, how are you, man? Yeah, Thursday already? <laughs> Time flies when you stop caring. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> Good to see you too, Ghosty. How you doing, buddy? Long, long time no chat. It's been all of like, what, 20 minutes? 
Uh, what about the people there? When your invasion fleet touches down, will you have their support? Yes, I will. Every victory we've won has shaken their support of my uncle. His popularity as a leader is shattered, and when the time to invade comes, the majority will side with us. With our fleet filling the skies and our supporters in the streets, my message will be unmistakable. Everywhere my uncle looks, he will see the Arano Cormorant, the symbol of my house and of our unshakable resolve. I'm going to go with this one. Don't forget about us. When you talk to that bastard, I want to be right there by your side. You will be, Renegade. You have my word on that. Director Espinoza will see our strength, the strength of our fleet, of our unity, of the loyalty of our people, and he will return Lord Madeira to us, or we will destroy him utterly. Be ready for my call, Commander. Together we will bring this war to a close. Oh, and we could. We could move on Cormadir right now. So Lady Rano's contract uh, contract to move on Cormadir is now available. This mission represents a point of no return. Resistance will be significant and our forces will be committed once we begin the assault. We should be prepared to field multiple fully equipped lances. Now, the only thing I could think of is that when this was done this way, the game was designed for you to be, you know, a company commander and to be controlling multiple lances. And I think at some point they changed that because you only ever control one lance. Ever. You can, I, I've, I usually do the two last ones as one lance. So yeah, this, this, I kind of chuckle at this. We don't really, but it would have been nice if we had to field multiple lances and all that, but so it goes. That mech is ready to fight, commander. So let's go to the mech bay. Let's send that spider down. Firm. Let's see. Yeah, let's sell that. Sell the spider. Let's make a little extra scratch. Let's see if there's anything worth buying in here. There probably isn't. Although we could put together a stalker. The st oh, actually, we, we could put together a stalker. So the nice part about the stalker is it makes for a really nice missile boat. But in my, anytime I've ever really messed with it, I actually find that the, yeah, we'll buy a new equipment available. Sure. Quick at that point, we're not going to need that anymore. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's go with this plus exchange. New equipment available. And we don't need to buy artillery. Cool. We are good here. Let's go to the hiring hall just to make sure there isn't anybody awesome in here. Oh, we got uh, somebody else. Commander? Yeah, let's let's get another good pilot. Mech warriors available. Excellent. I guess this is the question. Uh, <laughs> do we go to beat the game here? <laughs> yeah, at this point, and with that, we've now cut the Oregon Directorate in half. We've isolated Cormadir and the other two planets that have still somehow uh, remained. Oh, actually, the last five systems that have remained lawyer to, uh, loyal to Espinoza. Um, but at this point, like any reasonable, rational actor would look at this and be like, you know what? It's time to negotiate. The jig's up. It's over. <laughs> Like when you when you're every time you as a defending country end up getting your territory cut in half. I've, I've never seen in any kind of my study of military history, a defending force come back from that. <laughs> it's usually the beginning of the end. And so, uh, yeah, at this point, now Espinoza is not a rational actor. He is going to, you know, pretty much keep fighting uh, beyond all reason. He's going to keep fighting from this. Uh, but we could go to Itram. Uh, we could do a travel contract and do one more. Or we can go to beat the game. What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys... What would you guys prefer to do? Because I am kind of game for either. Actually, you know what? Let's see. <laughs> more contracts? Stretch out... We'll, we'll do one more. Yeah, we'll we'll make a little bit more money and uh, maybe aim to do the end of the the end of the game 
on a different stream, we could do that. We can do that because we can always do, yeah, let's let's do that because our money is a little tight. And plus we could upgrade some other things and get at least one more Star League map. Let's try that. Let's go here and we'll do raiding party, huh? Oh, the problem is it's a pirate organization. I don't want to take really don't want to take a mission against the pirates. Could do this one. You know what? Let's just go to Itram and see what's there. <laughs> that way we don't we're not obligated. Yeah, whichever one gets you more loot. Okay. Then Itram it is. But we're not we're not gonna do that travel contract. We're just gonna pay the thirty thousand Seabills and we'll just go there. It has a tra travel contract available. Yeah, I know. And it sucks. Document just go. Huh. Now, we'll pay the dropships. It's fine. Don't worry, Mr. Mary. <laughs> I always farm ahead of time uh, ahead of time in any game just to make boss fights less painful. Yeah, no, I hear you there. So now our med bay is done. Let's take a look at uh, ship upgrades and see what else we could do here. So we could... Uh, all right. So that we can't afford. So that's an easy decision. All right, so or half a million Seabills, we'll do the machine shop. Yeah, let's do the machine shop. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Perfect. And we'll go here. Resume course. We have a financial report in two days. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. That's eh, fine. We're getting a little low on Seabills, but we're okay. We still, we still make plenty. We're still going to make plenty of money. But we'll go here. We'll do a couple of contracts. We'll make some scratch, and we'll see what the black market has to offer. Maybe we can get some good plus weapons and we'll you know, be able to outfit our mechs with some better shit. Actually, knowing what the first priority mission of Core Madeira is going to be, we may end up wanting to take that Star League era Phoenix Hawk with us. That might be a better option because without getting into spoiler territory, oh, this one's good. Um, it's a very low, limited mobility map. And so to be able to jump long distances would be good. But anyway, uh, so skinny dipping. Dr. Murad rewinds and restarts the video. The timestamp says 2.38 a.m. Seven wet naked bodies come flying out of the new low G pool installation and into the hall. Four women, three men, all laughing and bouncing off each other. Well, this is way more nudity than I was prepared to see this morning, Sumiri says. Yang laughs. Seriously, how am I supposed to work with these people now? At this point, Sumiri begins cracking up. Too true. Dr. Murad is still deadly serious. Well, Commander, what are we going to do about this? So we could erase the recording or uh, address the crew. We're going to address the crew. <laughs> your voice echoes through the Argo. Attention, all crew and mech warriors. This is your commander. The leadership staff is very excited that the low G pool is getting used so frequently at all hours even. We expected you to use the pool to keep in shape during system travel, but it's also been a boon to morale. To that end, I wish to point out that there is a camera in the hallway just outside the door to the pool. Please wear appropriate swimwear at all times. Echoing down the hallways and through the vent shafts comes a single mortified voice. Oh my god. <laughs> morale increased by two. We're already at full, full morale, but I always found that to be hilarious. So we still technically, if we didn't do any missions, we would be able to get through two financial uh, statements before getting bankrupt. Darius will start chirping at us if we let it go too far. We're almost broke, Commander. Looks We've like arrived at the trip. Yeah, let's visit the store. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Probably nothing good in the standard. Ooh, well, let's take a look. Uh, plus five million. You know what? Sure. New equipment available. Plus 10 melee. Yep, that one will buy because it's virtually free. Okay. This one melee hit. That kind of sucks. All right, let's take a look at the black market. <sighs> if we only had 25 million C bills, we could just buy an Atlas II outright. Oh, well. Yeah, that's the that's kind of the shitty one. Yeah, here's your standard 733 Highlander with the AC-10. It's not very good. 
more of these. Ah, there's the, there's the Star League Warhammer. So if we could afford that, that might actually be worth it for us to buy because it's got double heat sinks. It's got a targeting computer, which would, uh, which will help with like some of the missiles. This is a nice, this is a nice Star League Royal version, but I don't see anything else that's particularly great. Sure, let's buy that if we can afford New it. Weapon systems I don't see anything else that's really worth it. But uh all right, let's take a look and see what the mechs are. We'll see what the emissions are. We'll have a nice little chill section here in Itram. <laughs> a favor to regret. There we go. A high tonnage director at Lance will shortly make planet fall at the behest of a large of a group of petty nobles and commercial interests. Intel suggests that this is the vanguard of a larger force of conventional tanks and infantry. And they're scouting the region for a suitable landing site. We need a competent mercenary company to intercept these mechs and stop the invasion before it gets underway. If their planet side allies send any support, you are to wipe them out as well. Yeah, fuck it. Let's take out some directorate uh, assholes. Yeah, we'll just go with that, I think. Because we do like getting salvaged. Although if we do that, eh, we do need the money. I'd rather do the money. Yeah, we'll do this. That works. We'll go this route. So actually, I'm kind of thinking here, we'll put the Cyclops in there. And we're going to take out the Marauder. We're going to bring back our Archer. We're going to bring back the Archer. Because we're, not, we're really not taking that much damage. We're not really getting shot at all that much. So getting the minus 10% damage really isn't much of a factor for us and that marauder just heats up too but too fast so let's go this way for now and what we could do if we get close enough to that star league era warhammer we could sell this one and essentially trade in this warhammer for the better one we might do that now do i bring along some of these pilots and give them some experience yeah, I don't think so. We've got a good stable of pilots, but we don't need to actually... I could probably get rid of Slam at this point. Because he's not a Ronin. Yeah, I might do that. We might just get rid of Slam. We don't really need him. May as well just stick with our with our good Kickstarter pilots. But whatever. Deploy! Yeah, we'll just do some... We'll do some chill. Hang out. Chat. Good. Not a work email. <laughs> We'll hang out, we'll chill, we'll chill and chat, do some, do some nice relaxing missions here. And we'll hang out here at Itram and we'll prepare for the end of the game. Uh, probably next stream then. Depending on how long we, we stick around with things here. So Darius seems to think this is going to be a rough fight. We'll see what happens. Command interface initiated. Enemies detected in the area, Commander. Intel reports that the director has sent a pretty serious lance of mechs. Also, keep an eye out for harassing units from the locals. I guess we'll find out. Never seen anything like this before. So our enemy lance is going to be up on that hillside. So let's see. I think we'll jump. Let's scout out. All right, they are there. And we got a 70 ton, so that's a heavy. Mm. Yeah, all right, fine. Go there. Cyclops. Uh, yes, we'll go there. Archer, you can go right there. Move order. Yeah, we'll stay in the woods. Let them. Take some hits for us. Poor trees. This is pretty cool that we can go so far faster than that. All right, we don't want Medusa going in that archer. Holding for the right opportunity. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what's going on here. Engaging jump jets. Enemy detected. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Yep. Here are all the fuck. Here's all the bullshit. 
That is bullshit. So we have to destroy the aliens and the enemy reinforcements all at once. I hate it when that happens. I hate when we have to fight everybody all at once. But oh well. So it goes. That Archer 2S could be a problem. So we got an 80... Okay, so we get an 85 ton assault mech. We've got a heavy Archer. It's a sharpshooter. We got a recon Orion. And we've got a 70 ton vehicle. Maybe the Lance is only two, but it's probably going to be more than that. Right now, it's just four on four, so this isn't too bad. Since we're shooting at this arc, I'm inclined to not use my... I'm inclined not to use the precise shot for here. Fighting in that anyway. Receiving you. Let's go here. Yeah. Uh, although I could just shoot the Orion from here. And start to really soften it up. I'm going to hit a lot of it either way. Neither one's got evasion. Let's go after that archer. Oh, that leg is going to get really fucked up. Oh, ho, ho. destroyed the leg entirely. Ha, 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 ha. It's one of the reasons why if an entire lance can, uh... Waiting for orders. Aw, uh, only the LRM can really hit with that. Good to go. I don't think you could really do much. Yeah, we're just dealing with missiles either way, so... Good to go. Hmm. Yeah, right. Well, fine. Let's just go up here. And we'll shoot the other leg with an LRM-20 and an LRM-20. Maybe we could blow up... Maybe we could take out this archer's legs. Receiving you. Uh, yeah, we'll just shoot from there. Yeah. Uh, we're probably not going to do as much damage as I would like to it. But yeah, focus on that other leg. <laughs> well, I think we got through it. Uh, no, we're done. Now all these fuckers get to go. <laughs> that poor archer's probably thinking like, what the fuck? The damn thing didn't even get a chance to go. Yeah, barely hit me with anything. Damage minimal. This vehicles could be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Wow, that's a lot of missiles. See, that's the problem I'm gonna face is these guys, I'm gonna want a torso twist towards the left. So that's a lot of incoming fire, and I don't want to. Well, it's kind of the same dilemma over here. Damage minimal. And it looks like they've got a lot of long-range weapons, so they can, they'll be content to stay at long range. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. We'll be able to target its right side. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Try and take out this mech. We got it. Both legs destroyed. Mech destroyed. All right, that's no longer a problem. So, let's reserve for now. We'll let them come to us. I mean, now without that archer spotting for them, Standing by. they can't shoot at me, at least for the moment. Well, now I can't because they decided to sensor lock me. So, if I 
jump. Right, I think. Or do I just move? Because I think you do get an extra evasion by jumping. Yeah, you do. So yeah, we'll we'll jump. And we'll open fire on this Orion. At least make it a little difficult on him. Let's go for it. Low percentage shot, but let's let's go for it. I mean, if the gauze rifle hits the head, it's over. Engaging target. I'll take an AC-10 crit though. Enemy mech critical damage detected. I think that was worth it. <laughs> question is yeah I don't like the idea of leaving cover but if I don't do anything else up there I can only really fire LRM 20 but I still think that's a better plan or I could just stay here yeah all right let's just do that Confirm. more volleys of L more LRMs we'll take that Done. Sensor locking. Yeah, no surprise there. I hear ya. Like here. Now nah, we're talking. All right, we'll do that. Coordinates received. I could afford to take a little bit of a chance here. Do the same thing. Fuck it. Got it. I still think it was worth the shot. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. <laughs> that Orion's now unsteady. Oh fuck. Okay, that stalker is going to be a problem. Yeah, the stalker is an is an awesome mech. It's a little slow. But it's got a lot of ton, uh, a lot of tonnage dedicated to weaponry, and it's heavily armored, so it usually does take some punishment before it goes down. Yeah, I'm glad I kind of stuck to the woods and reduced the amount of damage I take because these guys are nice definitely guy. a threat, and unfortunately we're fi fighting them all at once. Um, yeah, I think we should just go for that Orion and knock it down. But what I may do, I may just go over here. Yeah, we're going to back up, spread out a little bit. Volley of LRMs at that Orion. And fire. Actually, it might take it out, depending on the center torso damage. We got it. Cool. Nice job, Medusa. Hostile eliminated. Okay. Stalker definitely needs to go. I think so. Do that. So we be a little spread out here. I don't think we will, but we'll try anyway. Engaging target. take a head hit but I mean short of that the stalker is so heavily armored we weren't taking it out anyway yeah. Enemy sensor lock detected. fucking sensor lock just wiped out two evasion carrots and impaired my sensors waiting for orders <sighs> all right we are gonna move the atlas out because I actually want the Atlas Location to draw fire control. at this point. I actually want the Atlas to draw fire so the same things aren't being attacked over and over again. Yeah, that PPC carrier is definitely a target. Let's start eliminating its armor. Pull down its armor a little bit. Waiting on you, Commander. Pretty much I can only shoot at it with LRMs. So what I may do here. Yes. All right. So, you with that, you with that. Yep. 
Fire. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Oh. Man, miss with both of them. That's brutal. That thing is so lucky to be alive right now. Yeah, the LRM carrier is what could do a lot of damage to me. Although the computer is making a mistake here. That LRM carrier should just stay out of sight all the way out there and not even come any closer. I'm not sure what its thought process was though. So that shit. <sighs> yeah, that demolisher is gonna be a bit of a pain. Man, that's a lot of hits. That sensor lock really uh, threw things off. Warning. Armor low. Is okay. Vigilance is going to come in handy now. Because Vigilance will, will, re will reset my uh, stability. Although, Jesus, I hope that doesn't knock me over. Okay, I'll be able to go next. So let's attack the stalker. Let's... Yeah, we're attacking the stalker. For sure, that's the priority target. First things first, vigilance. <laughs> Goodbye to all that stability damage. Taking a lot of damage to my leg, which I am not thrilled with. If I could go here, I think that would probably provide adequate protection against these things. But then I would only be able to shoot you with an LRM-15. Not liking that plan. Uh, that's my left leg. That's sort of the problem. Granted, I would hit you with everything, but then I'm dangerously exposing that flank to that shit. I do not like it at all. The last thing I want is that leg taking damage. But I think it's worth it. Engaging jump jets. We need to take out that stalker. That is an absolute priority. Now we'll precision strike and try and take it out. All weapons committed. Come on. Now we got the torso off. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I've been sensor locked. That's better than it doing whatever it was going to attempt to do there. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we will. I'm just going to send the Atlas out in the middle of the fucking field and basically say, shoot me, please. <laughs> Locking on target. There we go. Now we got it. <laughs> yeah, the Stalker just couldn't take all that. Hostile removed. What can I do for you? We'll do that. Got it. I'm generating too much heat to really do much. I'll still go over here and we'll shoot some. Mm. Probably we just want to keep going after that Shrek. Yeah. All right, you know what? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, perfect. Yes. That is the plan here. Fire. No problem. I've got enough gun for everyone. Mm. Good. Yeah. We got the demolisher out of the action. You like that? That was a, a good use of resources there. Yeah. Negligible damage. You're just doing one point of damage with each one of those hits. Warning. That's why I specifically did Vigilance, so that it would do next to no damage doing that shit. Now I can show it my right side next time. Now that the Stalker is out of the party.
but what we'll probably do here is have glitch just walk up and stomp on this thing you hear me Yeah, that back carrier's got to go. Back up. Turn around completely. Show my right side. Yep, there we go. Sayonara. Targeting rear armor. Wow, the carrier is still alive. Yes, Commander. My God. I cannot believe... This fucking thing is still there. <laughs> 28, five. So one missile hits the left side, it's gonna be over. Or the, all right, I'm gonna toggle this off. Save some uh, ammunition here and uh, fire because yeah, uh, I, I think one of those LRMs is gonna hit that location and, and be done with gotcha. this. Yeah, there was no reason to lob 40 Vehicle missiles crash. when I knew not only 20 would do, but 10 probably would have done the trick too. Commander. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do. <laughs> I wonder where the other enemy lance is. There's still another mech somewhere. With We're going to have to deal with it at some point. One for the scrap heap. I wonder where it is. Oh, it's over here. It's an 80 ton mech over there, huh? Wow, and I've got my entire back to it. That's uh not good. I hear ya. Hmm. That's probably a problem. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go over there. We'll cool down. And we'll cool down. What's this guy gonna do? That's my fault. I didn't see it. It's probably an awesome. But it could lob some missiles this way. The landmass is in the way, so any kind of beam or ballistic weapon is not going to work. Okay, yeah, it's got to be got to be an awesome. Well, no, if it were an awesome, you know what? I think this is a victor. I'm willing to bet that this is a victor over here. Uh, so, hmm. That's all right. We're going to reserve. Got it. You're now the primary threat. We'll do that. Engaging jump jets. I'm not too worried about that vehicle that remains. Oh, it wasn't awesome. Oh, it doesn't have an LRM. It just has three PPCs and a small laser. Well, all right. Yeah, let's just chew through its side. We're going to blow off its torso. <laughs> For sure. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. All right. Wow, we just took out two fucking PPCs entirely. Good to go. My God. And fire. Confirm. I love just shooting with the archer. <laughs> Poor bastard. It's just sitting there Good minding its own business. All right. And yeah. Okay. So here's a cool thing. I am going to stomp on the LRM carrier, but I'm going to choose this location from the melee hit. So it's nice that you can. It gives you at least some control over what X or what position to actually make the attack from for the purposes of uh, positioning. Knocked out a vehicle. Order. That problem solved. Good deal. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, I'm overheating, so I won't be able to fire the ultra auto cannon. But that's okay. I could shoot everything else. And we shall. Taking the shot. This poor awesome. It's just getting its ass kicked. It hasn't even gotten a chance to shoot at me yet. I'm kind of surprised. Warning. Armor breached. Got through Internal my armor. 
Damn. That's unfortunate. Standing by. Eh, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's uh, open fire more and punish it for doing that. It just got me a repair bill. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. But we'll attack from this side, because it doesn't even have a torso on that side. We should hit its center torso, and we may just punch it to death here. And we did. And whenever you melee attack, any support weapon you have automatically also fires, which is very nice. All right, that should blunt any enthusiasm for further attacks into Restoration Territory. Well, Darius was right. That was a shit show. <laughs> that was uh that was interesting but we made some money we destroyed the enemy reinforcements so our payment got increased that's a little unfortunate we took some damage probably not a lot it'll probably take all of a day to repair not a big deal uh we got an awesome out of the deal so that's nice we'll probably take that ac10 but let's see anything good we may take that Let's see. Man, a lot of heat sinks. Jesus. Uh, you know what? I'll take this one. That way, in the event that the archer's targeting system ever gets damaged, we have a replacement for it. Sweet. All right. We got a, still got a good LRM-10 out of the deal. Oh, and it gave us the energy one also. So cool. Why not? Because. <laughs> Neato. So I think what I'll probably do is repair the Highlander and just wait a day for it to get repaired before doing any other missions. But what we could do, yeah, a mech that truly lives up to its name. The awesome 8Q mounts a frightening trio of PPCs that can destroy, knock down, or debilitate any target in no time. It's ungainly, but it could shrug off huge amounts of incoming fire. Yeah, the awesome really is an awesome mech. At this stage of the game, we don't have a use for it, so we're better off uh sending it to storage and selling it but yeah it's it's pretty awesome all right so repair yeah. <laughs> negligible repair bill and it'll take one day yeah i'll probably just wait for it honestly but what we could do is we could just swap it out for this highlander and continue going i mean we could we could easily um but I'd rather just repair my good Highlander and continue going in. Oh, it even shows like a little scratch, some scratch damage. <laughs> you can even see it on here. That's pretty cool. And of course you get the scale. Here are people and then here's the fucking mech. So even though they look like they're small little things from the big battle map, these are huge walking monstrosities. Let's wait a day. Job's done, Commander. Perfect. And let's find another contract. Probably hot landing here. Uh, I'd rather not do missions against the pirates. Oh, I fucking hate escort missions. But we could do this escort mission. Yeah, let's do it. Let's transfer a prisoner from Itrim to another system. Prisoner has allies in the Tarian Conquerdots that are going to try to set their ally free. So fuck it. We're going to... We're going to make sure they get there. And, uh, yeah. We'll still get some pretty good salvage. This is going to be a really difficult mission, but we'll get paid for it. Let's do it. Deploy. Woohoo! That was an interesting sound outside. I think my neighbor's car didn't start up. Anyway, Darius here. This is a hot one, Commander. It's going to be a crapshoot which one the Torians will decide to make their main assault. You need to prepare if this is going to be this one. 
So there are multiple dummy convoys, but we're protecting the real one. And we know this isn't just going to be a milk run. Of course the Torians are somehow going to find out it's that we've got the real one. Looks like the Torians got here before us. Looks like guess the deception didn't work. Get to the rally point. If that convoy arrives and you're not there, it'll be a bloodbath. Keep the restoration units alive and get them to the extraction point. Oliveira out. Oh yeah, we got a we got a quick fight just to get to the Copy escort that. mission, and then we have the actual escort mission. Um, yeah, let's do this. At least we'll be a little spread out. Moving out. Move. Yeah, well, you may as well be in good cover. Roger. Fucking Torians. How they knew what we were doing, the world may never know. <laughs> well, whatever. Aye, aye. Yeah, fire. Yeah, hell yeah. Open fire on that quick draw. Actually, I could. I don't know. Let's just open fire on the quick draw. Heavy mech going in the fucking... Going in the light phase. That's crazy. Or, uh... Yeah, I'm going in the light phase, aren't I? Yeah, I think I am. That's the other problem when you're clustered together like that. The straight shots always seem to hit me. It is what it is. Let's do that. And because it's a Tundra environment, we're not going to heat up very well. So mechs that are really shitty, like this would be a great uh, map for uh, for like a Warhammer. Yeah, let's fire at this Vulcan and try and get rid of it. Well, we didn't get rid of the Vulcan, but boy, did we fuck it up. <laughs> Okay, that catapult is... We need to get rid of that catapult. Wow, it didn't fire at us? It's within range. Why didn't it fire? That's really strange. Orders. I do not have any good explanation for why that didn't fire. No? Got it. The catapult should have fired at us. It fucked up. Unless it had a really shitty to hit and just didn't want to waste the ammunition but at that point waste the fucking ammunition Engaging. <laughs> I knew I didn't have to I knew I could get away with not I wasting the auto cannon there. there and now I'm a little better spread out so it's a stray shot's a little less likely we got an ace pilot Although just because it could do that ya. doesn't mean that was smart. It actually would have been better off zooming up first. Whatever. Coordinates received. Go here. Have to spread out. All right, get that quick draw and fire. Commencing out. Oh strike. fuck! Both hit. Wow, I was just saying how that. How rarely both hit. We now have yeah, had two crazy. missions in a row where both of them hit. That's devastating. You get hit with an AC-20 twice? I mean, just getting hit with it once pretty much knocks a hole right through your armor just in one hit. To get hit with it twice is brutal. What do you need? Uh, yes. That is, uh, <laughs> that mech is down. We are targeting that left leg for okay. sure, or the right leg, rather. Yeah, we cored it, but we tried. Hostile eliminated. Mech down? Yeah, we're kicking it while it's down. You better fucking believe it. Uh. We can't actually hit it with the small lasers yet. We were so close, but I definitely wanted to have cover. Uh, 
level precision strike and we will do that it would have been nice whoa okay. and we make for it right here yeah it would have been nice that instead of precision strike to have two different ones like one like a target like a called shot to try to target a specific location or one that just in general improved the accuracy of your shots instead of one that does both because there are a lot of times where i just want to improve the accuracy of the shot i don't necessarily okay, want to do the target location yeah that's, that's the problem with that catapult it just put all that damage into one space i lost half my armor <laughs> oh man good grief Whatever. uh all right it's a glitch good to go let's uh return fire you want to do that shit affirmative let's return fire i'm thinking you're not gonna like me shooting back at you <laughs> affirmative well, that would have been nice. We just blew off one of its missile pods entirely. Critical hit, God Commander. damn, man. God damn. Commander. Uh, yes. Now. Now we will shoot that AC-20. Although this mech is so fucked up. Jeez, this mech is so fucked up. I, that might not be worth it. Uh, now we got it. Fuck it. Locking on. <laughs> This catapult has been total. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of lead that just got fired into that one frame. So we're going to need to capture this. And my suspicion is we're going to have to escort from here. And go over to this area. That's my guess. Although I feel like we did this map before. I feel like we've done this map before. I'm only going to go here. Because if that's the case, there's no sense for the Atlas to have to go lagging behind. We'll just have the Highlander go over there and call it a day. But now I'll have Medusa sprint forward. You now need to be close to everybody. But it is nice that I could just have the archer kind of out of the fray entirely, being able to hit with everything and not really have to worry about shit. So yeah, we're just going to jump. Engaging jump jets. Uh, yeah, we'll just... That's fine. Roger. We'll go with that. You can stay there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. On my now, way. for the most part, the company is together. Hey, Freakbot! Oh, man. I guess that answers the question of how Gears of War has been going. I'm guessing you raided Darkstar. How is he? Uh, but yeah, the campaign's going pretty well. We're actually voluntarily uh, getting some extra loot. We, uh, we could potentially beat the game anytime we want now. The, uh, the invasion... We did a cliff invasion, and that went pretty much textbook. We managed to not get hit by any of the artillery, and we took out the generators to open up uh, Turlin for the invasion fleet for um, for Lady Arano. Cool. We've uh, secured the area. We're using multiple vehicles to conceal which unit the prisoner is being kept in. Try not to let any of them go down, Commander. Keep in mind, the convoy will try to stay near you for protection. Continue advancing to get them to the extract point. And because we're spread out, they'll they'll just freely advance here. Hey, Nikki, greetings. <laughs> I like loot. I'm a loot goblin. Ask Kara. <laughs> oh, why, thank you, Rigid Coterie. I appreciate the follow. Feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. Do you play Battletech? And we're starting to inch ever closer to the affiliate goal, so that's nice. I did. I finally fixed the bot. I had to actually give it mod powers. Uh, that was what was... It was a permissions issue. Once I, once I did that and I realized I didn't actually have a bot maximum, 
I don't know why I thought I had a bot max or a mod maximum. Um, but yeah, I, uh, well, yeah, yeah, apparently. So, oh, greetings. Yes. Cleopatra is sleeping. So she's being good at the moment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once I realized I didn't have a, um, a mod maximum, I, uh, I made Ghosty a mod finally. So, uh, so hopefully he does not go mad with power like the king of town. <laughs> For whatever reason, I've been thinking a lot about Homestar lately. <laughs> yes, there we go. I thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know we were joking about giving Nikki mod powers and she was like, no, please don't do that. <laughs> she's got like 20 channels that she's a mod to, I guess, right now. <laughs> Oh, it's VIPs that are tied to subs. And, okay, so, and then I don't have to worry about VIPs until, uh, until I actually have, uh, have that going on. So let's, uh, they are going this way, so let's head this way. This way, too. I'm pretty sure we're just going to follow the road here. And the archer is going to go here. Perfect. Let's copy that. But yeah, Cleo's good. I was, uh, gave her a nice pet. Uh, when I got home, so she, uh, she got her, she got a chance to play. Um, I, um, moved one of the other boxes and opened it for her. So now she has a new bed to, uh, to play with because, you know, of all the cat nests I get for her, she always prefers boxes. Uh, what, uh, oh, okay. Place I thought, oh, okay, then, then we may as well just because of the sheer hilarity of it. <laughs> that works. That works. You guys are you guys are always very very good to me, and I appreciate you guys all. <laughs> and when uh, when uh, not good bots, not the resplendent bot, but when random rogue bots show up to try to sell stuff, it's nice to have people. Yeah, laugh. If she fits, she sits. And despite the fact that she is an enormous cat, she fits and sits in lots of places. <laughs> she manages to do it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's a character. <laughs> oh, Cleo. <laughs> Sometimes I think Cleo is more popular on my own channel than I am. <laughs> like, I legitimately wonder how many of my followers show up for Cleo. And I can't even blame them because she's awesome. She is, she's, she's mostly floof. <laughs> she is such a bat. She is such a massive cat. Oh, we got a javelin incoming here. Good luck hitting that Cyclops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's hang out there and we'll open fire on that javelin. Oh my god, we may kill this javelin outright. Confirm. This poor javelin. We should keep a running stake out for her. Okay, we could do that. We could totally do that. So let me think. On, She's caught. I think up at this point, four. Yeah, the Garden Snake was her fourth. <laughs> so, in the... I, I, I moved into my current place in March of 2020. So, yeah, she captures about more than one a year. Man, they're... Despite how many evasion pips that Cyclops has, they're trying to pick on that Yikes. thing. That hit hard. Yeah, that did hit hard. We're gonna... We're going to do something about that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to advance too far. Because if I advance too far, the vehicles will, uh, won't advance. So, yeah, let's pick on that javelin. With the Highlander. And at least this way, they're not attacking the vehicles of the convoy. So that's good. Yeah, I don't think this javelin is long for this world. <sighs> Come on. Yes, thank you. Good Betty. Probably a Warhammer. Man. All right. So Glitch may have to actually pull back a little bit here. Commander? But you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm just going to stand tall. We're going to Vigilance. Yeah. We're going to fuck up this Wolverine. <laughs> fuck this guy. And the horse he rode in on. Goodbye. 
<laughs> you want to try picking on the That's Cyclops? Uh-uh. Homie, don't play that. Oh, I should have said, I don't think so first. Shit. Ah, broke through the armor. Hey, Cleo heard her name and she came. Hey, Cleo. Hi, honey. Come here. Come here, Cleo. Come here. Who's a good girl? Oh, are you a good girl? Good Hello, girl. kitty kitty. Who is my good kitty? Uh, we got a battle master. We got a grasshopper. Ooh. All right. Well, let's shoot the battle master, I guess. Moving to position. Hey, kitty. And open fire. Yep. Oh, and he's headbutting my leg. Hello. Hi, cat. You want to come up and say hi to everybody? No, you're going to stay on the floor. Just get a pet. Remember that cup's empty. You, you want water, honey? Even though you've got a cup of water, like literally just over there on the floor for you. You want to drink out of my water? You want to drink out of my water, don't you? Nope. You're just going to sit. Okay. You're going to sit on my foot. As long as you're not going to bite my foot. Let all these guys go. Like narrate. What? What, Cleo? There you go. Okay. Hello, Cleo. Okay. She is using my foot as a headrest. I am now stuck in this position and I can't move. I know. I love you too. Oh, she moved. She looked. She raised her head to look up at me. It's like, hey, where's my pet? <laughs> Waiting for orders. <laughs> Yeah, we'll move up here and open fire on that battle master. But it's not your water. We've been through this, right, Nikki? <laughs> oh, that's so true. <laughs> All right. Now, what got damaged? All right. My left, my left arm with a medium laser. All right. So let's reposition you. We'll do that. We'll position the arm a little away. Vigilance. I think the debuff is going to be. Oh, the battle master is too far away. All right. Multi target. And not. We won't shoot that. Let's just fire LRMs at you. Try and knock down the battle master. That fucking assault mech battle master and we'll shoot the grasshopper a little bit just to whittle away its evasion all right, where are my vehicles here they're all okay good they're all pretty much advancing here good let's at least get a little extra mobility here and let's see firing at you with that well i guess i'm shooting at the grasshopper engaging jump jets We'll engage the grasshopper here. Engaging target. <laughs> she's like, I was cute. Now pay me in pets. Yes. And she is cute. She knows she's cute. <laughs> she knows. She definitely knows. She's kitty. What's yours is hers. And what's hers is hers forever. <laughs> that is true. Oh, okay. What's up, cat? What? What? You, you want to? Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. What are we doing, cat? Hi. What's up, cat? You're very distracting. I, I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, <I'm> <laughs> she's demanding pets and attention, and she's uh, she's very, very, very good at being distracting. Hello. Aye, aye. Oh, you've got a scratch on the top of your head. Oh, that feel good. Yeah, I bet it does. I'm going to have to get that scabbed over. Scratched yourself itching your ear, did you? Don't worry. I'll... Ow, ow, ow. All right, all right. I'm not messing with it now, but I'll take care of it later. Okay, okay. You could stop biting my hand. I'm going to leave it alone. <gasps> Jeez, cat. <laughs> Fire the Battle Master some more. <laughs> God damn. It's like, don't mess with that. I'm like, all right, all right. I hear you. Hello, cat. All right. Give me, guy. Give me, give me, uh, give me a couple of seconds, chat. Let me just refill Cleo's water with some, uh, with some of that. Let's, uh, I know, I know, I know. Well, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I know. Let's, let's let everybody see you.
your your head is too big. You can't get the water yet there, honey. Give me a second, all right? Give me one second. Stay. 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 I'll give you the water in just a few seconds. I know, I know, I'm coming. There you go. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bop you in the head. There you go. Good. <laughs> Get it, Cleo? She, she is pretty. She is a very pretty cat. You know. I'm moving the cable so it's not on you. There you go. I know. You're a loved cat. Good grief. She's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> but she's my pain in the ass. Hello, cat. <laughs> Since she's up here anyway, may as well take a brief stop. Oh, that's right. I have mods. They did all the shout outs already. <laughs> but I may as well give a couple to, uh, may as well now give a couple to Ghosty. Since he's, since he's here. Since he's here lurking. <laughs> While we're at it. Have fun with this. <laughs> and while we're at it, <laughs> that's way now when I go, I can be like, all right, Nikki, you're in charge. <laughs> so that's that. There we go. All right. Yep. That's it, cat. Show everybody your 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 butt. That's that's great. So that's that's great. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know. Hello. I know. Hello. Oh, she's getting more. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> it begins, right? Hello. You were thirsty, huh? Yeah. I don't know why you were thirsty. You have a you have a completely full cup of water. I know because I spilled it just like an hour ago. Oh yeah, yeah, cat. See what I have to deal with. <laughs> I usually just watch a boat with someone. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we do have fun here. Uh, who's going? All right, Medusa. Yes, open fire. I I need more missiles, more missiles. Okay. Yep. Now she's gonna lay down on my foot again. Uh, yes. Let's knock over the battle master, and uh, it would help if I actually. Hmm. That would help. <laughs> We really do know how to get what we want. Yes. <laughs> there we go. And ah, uh, that's why the battle master was so desperate to do that. Because I had been really fucking up at center torso. We're gonna knock that thing down. I think I there it goes. Good. Yeah, this battle master is not long for this world. We've got this. Commander. At this point, I'm going to advance. I'm going to vigilance again. Hope. Uh, you know what? Precision strike. Let's let's go for blood. Going for the jugular here. Ooh, we got it. <laughs> Goodbye, grasshopper. Blew its head right off. Nice job, Glitch. She is my favorite pilot, I gotta say. I love her dialogue. Oh, and we got the torso there. All right. So this little bit of ambushing uh, Torians, we took care of them. And now I'm thirsty and I have no water for myself. I'm not drinking out of the same water she drank out of. I know it's probably fine, but like, I don't know. I love my cat, but there is a, um, I never felt comfortable drinking out of the exact same glass as my cat. <laughs> I've seen what she kills and eats and licks. Just, yeah. Nope. <laughs> 
All right, where are these guys going? They're going up here. Good. We can just go up here. Yeah, we can sprint. Let's sprint. On my way. You are not going to sprint. You've got a damaged arm and some fucked up armor, so you're gonna stay behind. Oh, great. You've got a. All right. I gotta play a little catch up with the archer here. I thought I'd be able to go straight up. You need a mini fridge with water bottles. You know, yeah, I do. I do need like a nice little mini fridge with water bottles. Water bottles and sodas for when I'm in the mood for a little bit of a sugary uh, drink. I was never a big fan of caffeine, but sugar, ooh. Well, I mean, my sweet tooth has always been incredibly voracious. Even the faculty I work with, whenever they bring me food, they don't bring healthy thing. Well, some of them bring healthy things because they know how, how bad I eat. <laughs> but most of them know my sweet tooth and they'll bring me chocolates and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and, and for that, they're awesome. Uh, <laughs> I always I always appreciate that. I joke that uh, that bribes do, in fact, work, but um, <laughs> it's it's really not necessary. Healthy things, they're <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, we've got a retired professor. Um, yeah, I shouldn't say her name. <laughs> uh, you know, Twitch, Twitch social conventions and all that. Granted, I'm not really all that concerned about. Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe I should be, but but I'm not. I'm That's not smart. overly concerned Holy. at doxing myself or anything else like that. But uh, but yeah, I'll stick with so the, the traditional social convention of staying. Uh, keeping relatively anonymous, but we've got a, um, we've got a professor who retired years ago, but she still makes this like, ho what she calls it, homemade bark. And it's this like dark chocolate, almost like hard fudge with nuts in it. And it's amazing. It is me. I'm the professor. <laughs> that actually would be really funny, Deep Fry, if you're the professor I'm thinking of. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> I suppose it is possible. I'm a little worried about this uh, Arv, kind of, uh, uh, Arv, Arv car APC. I'm hoping this thing gets driving soon. Come on, buddy. We need you to get with the program. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Took it long enough. Fortunately, we've kept these guys out of the action long enough, so long, I don't think they've even had a chance to fire at anything. I'm actually a huge gamer, you wouldn't even tell. <laughs> yeah, the Nest, the Nest logo doesn't give it away or anything. I actually think it's really funny, Deep Fry, that you have uh, Ness as your logo, because Earthbound, I'm pretty sure, is my favorite RPG of all time. Um, now, sometimes I... I kind of get into my own little mental debates of what RPG I like better. Like my holy trinity, so to speak, or, you know, maybe I should do like a Mount Rushmore of RPGs. That might be better. Uh, I mean, it's a great favorite game. It's it's such a classic. Um, so I finally got my Super Nintendo emulator working and I only downloaded one game for it so far and it was Earthbound. <laughs> I have a lot of enemies playing the game with my sister, I, I, I bet. Uh, that's such a good game. Um, oh my goodness. So, uh, I was telling Freakbot last week over dinner, um, what I'm probably going to do is take, um, the day off work, uh, for my birthday and do an Earthbound stream. And, uh, well, let's, oh, I can't, why can't I jump? Oh, because I'm in an archer. The archer can't jump. Nice, nice job, uh, Seraf. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> uh, Xeno, yeah, Xenogears is, is freaking amazing. Um, if they didn't fail with Xenosaga 3, any one of those Xenosaga games would have been right up there. And I still may call Xenosaga 2 if I... Like, let's do the Mount Rushmore of RPGs, right? That way I don't have to pick one of them. But if we, but if we include a fourth, then Xenosaga 2 makes the cut. But uh, I would say it's that... Persona 5, Final Fantasy 6, and Earthbound. Those are 
those are my cream of the crop favorite RPGs ever. Um, and I, I, I love those four to absolute death. And depending on what day you get me, any one of, well, any one of the three outside of Xenosaga 2 would be my favorite. Um, like if we just do the, the, tr the Trinity, then, and we exclude Xenogear, uh, Xenogears, Xenosaga, um, depending on the day you get me, uh, any one of those is, is my favorite. But I, I think it's Earthbound. If you, if you really made me pick one, I, I probably would say it's, it's Earthbound. That. Uh, it's so good. We were playing the cave of the past and there was a lightning storm outside. We got the brains part and the power went out. We both screamed. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so awesome. Uh... Affirmative. And I think Earthbound was also the last the game I played on my Super Nintendo before, before it died. No. Yeah, before it died, because I gave my Super Nintendo games... I gave most of my... Mm, no, I know I gave my Super... I know I gave my Earthbound actual physical cart to Freakbot, but I may have given the rest of the games to Lior. Or maybe I gave half of them to Freakbot and half of them to Lior, or maybe I gave Freakbot the entire collection of Super Nintendo games. Goodness gracious, I can't remember anymore. Uh, when I moved into one of my apartments in like 2017 or 2018, that was one of my thank yous. Um, I only gave Earth... Okay, so I must have given Lior the entire rest of the collection. Um, that must have been how that how that went. Um, so I'm, I'm glad my actual physical cart has a good home. <laughs> of course, now nobody could play that cart again because all three of us have saved games on it that are like priceless with the Sword of Kings on it and all sorts of cool stuff on it. Um, but one thing I am looking forward to with the emulator is to do a save state in Magicant and get the Gutsy Bat. Because that was the only problem. I tried getting the Gutsy Bat and I would save at the very beginning of, because you could only, because you have to save near, near a phone. So you have to be at the very front of Magicant, pretty much do everything, save there, and then go through the whole thing in Magicant, and then go through the river, the river kind of pool part of it, fight the three Krakens and hope you get the Gutsy Bat. And then if you don't, you have to reset the console, lose your progress, because the freaking Krakens... Looks like Tutorians decided to hit this convoy hard. They're picking up additional... We're picking up additional enemy units, because of course we are. <laughs> yeah, until the save battery dies, yeah. I think you gave some to Dan when we helped you. Oh, so maybe it was Dan that got the rest of them. You know what? You're, you, you know what? You might be right. I may have... That sounds right. I know I gave Lior something. But that does sound right, because Dan has that really awesome 80s museum at his house. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds right. That sounds right. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, so I grew up uh, living with a smoker. My mom smoked. And I think... And, and this isn't an anti-smoking PSA, whatever. But uh, I do think the amount that she smoked is one of the reasons why... Every single one of my consoles, 100% of them all died. Um, my turbo graphics went first, and just just none of them none of them made it, uh, unfortunately. But that's the one I wish I had kept. I wish I had kept my turbo graphics console because now there are so many places that know how to repair consoles. I could have brought it to one of them, and I would have paid good money to have somebody repair that thing and play the turbo graphics games I have on real hardware. I would have loved to have done that. I definitely would have gotten a capture card for that. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. I still have all my TurboGrafx games. I might, if, if somebody has a good, re like, restored console that plays games on it, that is very tempting still to, um, all right, where are these? All right, so we got, they're all making a beeline to the escort zone, good. So I don't really, ooh, uh, all right, let's reserve. <laughs> Let's reserve for now because these areas aren't going to get. Yeah, I we I am I'm getting total deja vu vibes from this map. I really feel like we uh we did this. I feel like we did this already. Now maybe I'm wrong. Engaging but I I could swear like Now a lot of these maps are randomly generated, but at the same time 
So let's... That's going to be a quick draw, most likely. Or a rifleman. Let's sensor lock that. Sensor yep, it's a quick draw. Alright. Ready for orders. Position and open fire. And that's the beautiful part about having the uh, initiative the way it is. Yeah. Open fire on that quick draw. For sure. Holy shit! We just took out that quick draw before it even got a chance to go. <laughs> Total decimation. Yeah, these these guys aren't getting anywhere near this convoy. But what I will do is I will sprint this over to the convoy. Sprinting. So the convoy feels like it's protected, but I want glitch as far away from the action as possible. Ideally, I don't even want him targeting the Cyclops. Oh, and here's our Orion, here to make my life difficult. What's up, boss? Let's see. All right, so that Orion is there, and you guys are over here. I am better off sending the Atlas over in this general direction, but I'll still fire move. LRMs in that. I'll still fire LRMs at the Orion, but I'm going to move the Atlas over here so I can shoot at these things directly. That's okay. We'll still be able to fire these over here. Yep, these guys are going. Perfect. Two, four, two out of four units. Excellent. Moving along. In a second, I'm going to go downstairs and get myself some more. A new cup of water. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My cat. Commander. Uh, yeah, let's just unload. A, a, yes. Let's just do an alpha strike. Sure, let's do it. Affirmative. That's a lot of damage. Max are positioning. We're going to jump again. Yes. Question is, is that the better position? I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter. So let's just get a little closer. Let's get right up in its grill. Say goodnight. All oh my goodness, the Orion survived that? Wow. I'm actually really surprised the Orion survived that. I am really survived. Right, Commander. Or, I'm really surprised that the Orion survived that. My god. All right, well, fine. Let's uh, shoot you more. Right, Commander. Preaching shot. Do some damage. I mean, not much, but hey, it's something. Receiving you. Yeah, we'll go here. Fire some more. Instead of an LRM ten, here's some. Here's twenty. Oh, so this got interesting Sorry. again. But not very. There we go. Nice critical hit. Take that. And we knocked the Orion down. Nice. At this point, they're good to go. I just need to protect them for one more phase. They're about to load into the dropship. <laughs> and it's running. <laughs> Objective secured. All right, so we've completed our escort mission. We could just go to the extract point, or we could mop up these remaining units. This part sucks, where it just says exiting combat, 
and it essentially gives the enemy a free turn. So this allows them to recover from deep, but like this guy has crazy penalties, but that turn, it just, it went away. <laughs> it, it just, those penalties are now gone. They got to vent heat. Essentially, they get a free turn. It sucks. But whatever. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. It just, it's lame. Um, it's unfortunate that they get the free turn. I wish you would just stay in combat. I don't know why the game exits combat and then re-enters it. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just save our LRMs. And shoot the ever-living shit out of you. There goes your left arm. <laughs> That's enough of that. Enemy mech destroyed. Still wasn't all that worried about it. Roger that. Standing by. Unfortunately, we'd still have to go past them to get to the evac zone. I mean, we could, but... Standing by. Why do that when we could just show up here and nuke Position these two and be done with it? It's probably faster to just kill the mechs than it is to go to make our way to the evac zone. We've got an Orion. Ooh, and a Black Knight. Head destroyed by an AC-20. <laughs> there is nothing more satisfying than blowing a mech's head clean off. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, what? Well, just in case, for whatever reason, it does crest that hill and try to shoot at the Cyclops. I don't think it will, but I'm just going to go over here, get some cover, lob some LRMs over at this guy. Got it. At this point, this Orion is fucked. But it's just, I don't know why the game does it. I mean, I sort of do, but if this evac zone were, say, I don't know, here, it'd be more of an interesting question because, yeah, you'd have to fight these guys off. Theoretically, the Torians would have gotten to at least here, and you'd still have to do some sort of running kind of, uh, you know, pitched battle where you get to the evac zone. Granted, this is off the map, but um, but because they position the evac zone past them, you just guarantee, all you do is guarantee that we're fighting the mechs instead. Like, I don't even know why they bother with an evac zone. my way. I don't know if it's random, but I'm just pretty unlucky with how these tend to spawn. But that happens a lot, so I almost feel like that was a deliberate choice. It's peculiar. Receiving you. <laughs> and now I basically get to act twice because I reserved. And now I'm not reserving. <laughs> More damage. That Orion's gotta be like, you just went! Why are you going again? <laughs> And that might be the last time it gets to fire. I'm under heavy fire. Uh, yeah, we'll just go here. We'll just walk up. You know what? Let's do a salvage shot here. Engaging target. <laughs> We're going to have so much salvage thanks to that. Enemy mech destroyed. There we go. Perfect. Mission successful. Now let's take a look. We get lots of salvage. Minimal repair bill, minimal repair bills. But yeah, we'll take the Battlemaster for sure. And we got a lot of Orion. <laughs> look at all the Orion salvage we got out of all that shit. That's a lot of meat. Holy smokes. Uh, do we have four? How many of these do we have? We got five of those. Yeah, we got we got a lot of salvage opportunities because we took out so many of those mechs pretty much intact. Let's uh let's go with the plus ten damage of that. And sure, we'll go in with Orion. And let's see what else we got. Perfect. Oh, no, we didn't get another Orion salvage. I totally thought we'd get an Orion salvage out of that. Uh, I played games with it and I lost. I should have just grabbed two Orion Ks. That's my fault. I knew better. I 
Okay, now Seraph is going to get some water to replace this one. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. We'll be selling that Battlemaster in a second. Okay, but yeah, this will be this will be a good chance for me to just go grab that really fast. I will be right back, everybody. Give me give me just uh, one or two minutes. All this stuff. Okay, I have returned. You know, it occurs to me, I really should set up some, like, actual music to play during that pause scene. I'm not sure what music would be good, but there's got to be something in my repository of game music that would make for something good there. Uh, something with a lot of piano, maybe. I wonder what would be good. Let's go repair this one. Let's do some logistics, which is definitely part of the game. Repair. That'll take one day. All right, so we'll do that. We're not going to buy this, but we'll send you to storage and we will sell that. Sell. Yeah, let's sell the awesome. Sell the Battlemaster. 
Yeah, we're talking. Now we got some good money. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Actually, what does the black market have? Uh, yeah, we can't afford the Atlas too. That we definitely can't afford. We're getting there with that Warhammer. We could afford the... Or the, yeah, that's right. There really wasn't anything all that great in here. But yeah, that would be nice to be able to buy this Warhammer. We need six million, essentially. We probably need seven million to really be able to do it because we got to be able to buy each part of this. But then we also need enough left over. That's a good question. What kind of vibe am I looking for a uh, for my for my be right back slash pause screen? That is a good question. Um, ah. I don't know. Typically, vi good vibes are, um... <laughs> Man, some of these spam texts, they're not even trying. Good afternoon from KJK Beauty. Like, what's the matter with some of these things? Like, are you kidding me here? I know this is not part of our stream right now, but it's like... <laughs> you're, no, you're scheduled for an appointment with such and such at such and such time. Like, really? Ah, and your appointment requires a deposit. <laughs> oh my God, yes, report spam, block, report. But I mean, like, this is why people don't even use their phones as phones because we get so many freaking spam robocalls and scammers and um, like, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> yeah, what kind of vibe am I looking for for a, uh, for a Be Right Back screen? I don't know, uh, that might be a good Com that might be a good conversation for the Discord. Um, but I I should start thinking about it because I really haven't given it any thought up until like just this moment of like, huh, I should put music for that. I don't know why I didn't bother before. And I've got a, I've got a ton of uh, video game music that would be that I could pull from. Maybe I should just go through some of it and just start playing it and see what uh, see what works. I think our Mech Warrior is already maxed out with that. Let's uh let's advance to let's advance a day. I wrapped go. up that job you asked for, yep. Commander. We got that repaired. <laughs> we're we're making our way through all these contracts here. Uh yeah, we'll just I think we'll just do one more and we'll just kind of uh is it copyright free? That's a good question. <laughs> Cause yeah, that would be pretty annoying to have a, a copyright strike on my channel just for my be right back screen. That's actually, that's a very good concern. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know why I did Martian the Mar uh, Marvin the Martian voice there. Trying to figure out a good pause music, not find it Earth Space Modulator. What are we doing? <laughs> we've reached the delirium. Now we've reached my delirium phase of the stream where I start losing my fucking mind for no goddamn reason. Oh, that looks good. Breakthrough on the brink, defend base. A restoration industrial lab is at a critical juncture in its R&D program. Any disruption would set us back a decade. The Torian Concordon on Itrum has discovered this and they've already interdicted the first lance of mechs <laughs> that were sent to defend the facility. We need mercenaries to step in and buy the time necessary for further reinforcements to arrive. This must be, this must be a gnarly one. Um, well shit, should we do the stubborn surrender where we fight a bunch of these? Or do we want to defend a research base for the, uh, for the Irana restoration? I probably am only going to do one more. I vote for Ghosty's music. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. That's true. Yeah, if Ghosty has a suggestion, uh, yeah, that would work. Badass, that's right. <laughs> Shit, do I have... Yeah, none of my own band's music would really go for that, I don't think. Um, but I, you know, that's what I really should do. I really, I mean, I've got the, I've got my own, I got the keyboard. I should probably just hook it up and start, uh, I'll be working on, Jeff. I'll be work, uh, working on some for Mac soon. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Good stuff, man. <laughs> I bet you I already have something in the repository, but yeah, if I don't see something, I am definitely open to uh, to suggestions and music donations. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Good shit, man. This is awesome stuff. Uh, I'm thinking this stubborn surrender here. I think we'll just we'll do we'll just do a, a straight fight because um, 
Hey, you know what? Let's do breakthrough on the brink. Fuck it. Let's let's go for broke here. Let's let's see what kind of bullshit they throw at us. This should be funny. <laughs> let's do it. I love it. Uh, am I really benefiting from the earlier initiative? Yeah, I think we are. I have my own ghosty playlist on YouTube. It'll be something no vocal and like lo-fi-ish comp things. I mean, that makes sense. Ghosty's YouTube is amazing. Uh, yes. As soon as I found out when he shared some of his stuff on, um, on Serum Chan's Discord, I was like, uh, subscribe. <laughs> it's, it's good. Ghosty, Ghosty knows what's up. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of musicians, uh, in this like circle of, uh, circle of streamers it's cool stuff i'm guessing our hammers our employers know that a hammer blow is coming so we'll be expected expected to take the brunt of the attack in their enforcement real uh reinforcements arrival of the field yeah they're paying us to Command take this one initiated. so i can make a few extra ones nice yes yes indeed this isn't the first assault on this facility commander expect significant enemy forces we're picking up and mech engine signatures nearby so expect contact shortly all we have to do is hold out until the cavalry arrives. Good luck. <laughs> Commander, I've been informed that the R&D facilities has some additional defense options. Well, that would be nice. Let's find out what these defense options are. They have point defense turrets set up around the base. They were taken offline in the last assault, however, so we're probably gonna have to defend APCs. <laughs> yeah, here we are. We have a restoration convoy of engineers who can bring them back online. Escort them safely to the generators and we can bring some additional firepower to this fight. Yeah, we'll, we'll appreciate turrets. We like turrets. Ready for orders. Now what? We're going to have Medusa do here. Yep. Medusa's going to camp out right there. Location confirmed. Just in case something shows up on that back end. We got a Ryan. Got an unknown mech. This is the escort zone. So yeah, we'll go here. And I will take a nice little shot at that. It's too bad I don't have... Precise shot right now. But oh well. Maybe we'll just get lucky. Nope. But that's a hit. I'll take a hit. Nice. I appreciate you all for the noise. <laughs> What's up, boss? And we have we have good taste. I copy. But yeah, if anybody for anybody also uh, lurking in chat, um, you can find, uh, we did, I did a shout out for Ghosty early, but I'll do another one when we're wrapping up uh, stream. Uh, feel free to check out, check out his Twitch. He's got a link to it. I think you got a link to your YouTube on there. And, uh, I highly recommend checking it out. He's got, he's got some really amazing stuff on there. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, oh, okay. I have to go this way. I apparently have to go this way. Okay, fine. We'll go to the forest. Going turbo. But this is okay. Putting some pressure on the enemy already. I don't even know what weight it is yet. Just an unknown mech. It's probably pretty serious stuff. Oh, I well, thank you, Nikki. There we go. <laughs> go follow all of his things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most appreciated. Definitely need to put some Benadryl cream on my neck. It's getting nice and itchy at the moment. It'll go days without being itchy, and then all of a sudden it'll just kick in. Like, Commander, what is this thing's problem? <laughs> um, still think I'm too far away from any of these things. They're not even within range. Oh, really? 
Oh, they're very far out of range. All right, well, let's just reserve. See what these guys are doing. We're just gonna monitor them while the APCs get closer. This works. Yeah, we'll do three, but I won't get too far out of there. 65, what, are we, what do we got? Thunderbolt, man, that Thunderbolt ran fast. But all right, that's no problem. Shoot the center torso. So, uh, eh, I need to stop gaming. <laughs> no, no, we appreciate it when you game and, and invite us to watch you on stream. So feel free to keep gaming. <laughs> uh, but yeah, one of the nice things about this gauze rifle is uh, that automatic five internal damage at the chance of critical hit. And this Thunderbolt has SRM ammo. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can just blow up the Thunderbolt without even penetrating the armor or Synthwaves or Chiptune. I love Synthwave personally. I have uh, I have a lot of Synthwave. I didn't even hit the freaking center torso. Damn it. You have failed me. <laughs> That's all right. At least we got rid of all of its evasion. So we could punish it for at least approaching. We got that going for us. Uh... Yeah, all right, fine. We'll advance and I'll at least shoot it with missiles. Let's try to knock it over. This works. This Thunderbolt is gonna really regret charging forward. That's inflicted some heavy damage. Yes, you did, Medusa. You blew up its torso and knocked it over. Yeah, this Thunderbolt's in uh, a lot of trouble now. Standing by. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna advance and just shoot it with more LRMs. I like the idea of just us holding the high ground up here with cover. Make them go into the open without cover and come to me. That works for me. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just... Firing. Let's just fire on the center torso. Because once we get past its armor, right? That was a beautiful volley. Man, a lot of Orions here. I hear ya. Let's get to cover. And yeah, that's a good cover spot. Yeah, more LRMs. More missiles. <laughs> We're getting ever closer. Come on, SRM ammo explosion. Ah, we couldn't get the ammo explosion. Damn. You're gonna stop just before that, aren't you? Nope, you made it. The engineers are in position of disembarked from their vehicles. The APCs will scatter and support you now. Keep the turrets online and they'll keep firing. That's beautiful. Well, so the opening stages of this have gone very nicely. And the APCs are now extra things for them to shoot at, although why they're going to go out all the way out there, I'm not really sure, but hey. Well, yeah, that's fine. Sensor lock things. Ah, now the turret's going to shoot the Thunderbolt that's down. That works. <laughs> yeah, the Thunderbolt fucked up running out there. I'm sure its plan was, hey, I'm a, heavy, I'm a heavy mech. I'll run up, I'll scout, and everybody else can open fire, and I've got all that evasion so it won't be hit. It thought wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just go over here. And I think we'll shoot that. Or... Mm. Yeah, we'll shoot that Orion. We'll do more damage. Even if we miss a little bit. Probably the same amount of damage. Oh, actually, you know what? Fuck this guy in particular. Engage. Fuck that Fuck mech off, in God. particular protocol. Uh, stay put. Ooh, 
move. Okay, new plan. Yep, we're not there. What if I jump a little? Okay, I can't even fire at it all over there. Definitely don't like being out in the open. Hmm. Well, my options are limited, aren't they? Fine, let's reserve. Standing by. Maybe the Orion will move and there's there's gonna be a better target. Waiting for orders. Now let's attack you. Breaching shot. Now it's probably going to move, but... <laughs> wow, it's just inching forward. Not really doing a whole lot. Orders. Stay put. Yeah, let's just fire at that one some Copy more. That. Little by little. May not look like a lot of damage yet, but... We're stripping off its armor in pretty good increments. Just wish I had a better shot. Well, actually, now that we've whittled away some of its evasion, now at least we've got a better shot at it. So yeah. Nah, we still missed with the frickin' gauze rifle. Hit the stupid mountain instead. Sorry. Definitely need to put some Benadryl cream so I'm not tempted to mess with it. But it's not heinously itchy, it's that it's 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 that like post surgical healing itchiness. Yeah, this will definitely be our last mission of the night. on hostile reinforcements they're heading your way cleo shed and had a hair on the secondary screen i'm like is that a crack on my secondary screen but nope just just more cleo <laughs> all right so we had uh reinforcements show up what direction paying more attention to the cleo hair than the reinforcements they're not over here or anything are they We didn't take any damage. So... I guess it was just Darius warning me that they were coming at all. Yeah, let's pick on that Orion in particular. <laughs> That's devastating. I've had that happen with a bug. Thought it was an enemy far away. <laughs> it happens. It, uh... uh wow. Uh, oh, uh, all right. So if I go here, if I move up there, I'll be able to fire at all that. Yeah, we'll do that then. Let's just do the torso twist up that. Yep, just walk up. Get a better aim. Yes. And fire. Blew off its right arm, and we got that mech. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. So, have you guys played any uh, Sea of Thieves or planning to play any Sea of Thieves with Kara or anything? <laughs> Good, <laughs> goodbye, Autobot. <laughs> yeah. Ready for orders. Over there. Ooh, yep. That's exactly what we're doing. On my way. We're gonna we're gonna go for the jugular here with this one. It's low percentage, but got it. 
But we got it! <laughs> I was going to tonight, but my hands have been hurting today. Aw. But might this weekend. Good stuff. Target eliminated. Obviously, if Kara streams, I'll I'll be uh I'll be watching. Well, that was a <laughs> that was an annoying counterattack. <laughs> Managed to land with that AC-10. Alright, glitch. Good to go. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Moving out. And we'll go with the much more reasonable high percentage shot. There we go. Man, we hit both in the center torso. Come on. Oh, that was so close. That mech has got to have so little left in the center torso. Something's attacking from over here. That's a problem. Well, glad it attacked that from the rear. I still don't see it. Now well, that's a problem. Shit. Okay, so they're over there. Well, that's where they are. All right, so they're over here somewhere. Surprised it's attacking that and not my mechs. We do get a bonus if all of our buildings survive, but at the same time, uh, it's not necessarily required, but it is nice if we could keep all the buildings alive. What I need to do, though, is I need to start getting these guys redeployed over on the other side. Well, that's going to knock over the Orion. This thing's no longer a threat to us. Oh, that's a lot of... There we go! We destroyed the enemy vanguard! <laughs> yes, Commander. All right, well, let's... Let's cruise over here and let's see if we see anybody. Move order received. I've got something. Yeah, it sucks for that, but that's all right. You guys fired. All right, so you're going to sensor lock that 80 ton mech. Yep, Zeus targeted. Uh, yes, perfect. Lovely. All right, so here's the combination here. Not very high percentage, but there's a reason why I did that with this one. Now we have a one in five shot, essentially, of just killing this uh, Zeus outright. We'll have to play some more uh, VVVV. <laughs> have a good rest of the stream. Well, thank you, Deep Fry. Have a good night yourself. Enjoy. And we got it. These guys got to be like, the hell, man. <laughs> That's like, what, two or three headshots in this match alone. Probably a rifleman to be able to fire at that kind of long distance. What can I do for you? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do this, and at least we'll be in a better position. Sprinting. We can't can't really get there in time. They're probably going to destroy that building, but oh well. Because we need to def we need we have to defend six buildings, and we need three of them minimum standing. So we can lose, and we're going to lose it here. There's our bonus. Down, Commander. Oh, so lame. Receiving you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go the road. On the move. <laughs> Full speed. It is what it is. Yeah, I was paying more attention to the hair. I bet you Darius kind of gave me a clue and I missed it while I was messing around with my second monitor. But all right, not really the end of the world. We still took out a Zeus before they even saw us. I mean, just from a morale standpoint, can you imagine you have a assault mech with you and it gets its head blown off? <laughs> like one of the main advantages of an assault mech is all of that armor. But because it's, he you know, when you blow off its head, you're obviously just that that armor advantage got completely negated. 
standing by. So I'm just gonna have to go here. Oh, right, yeah, it all. All right, fine. Fine, we'll go up there. Confirm. We'll just move up a little bit. And yes, fire at the quick draw. Pushing all the buttons. That hit something good. Yes, it did. Now we'll be able to target everything. Engaging jump jets. Still think that was the right decision to go after the uh, quick draw there. But we've got a rifleman and a Jaeger mech. Uh, we'll go after the Jaeger mech. And let's just expedite this a little bit. Engaging target. The Jaeger mech, it just... It's a glass cannon. Enemy mech One of my first playthroughs ever, I got a Jaeger mech, and I'm thinking like, oh, I've got a heavy mech. And every mission I brought that Jaeger mech into, at the very minimum, one of its arms would get blown off. And I'm like, how is it possible? I've got a heavy mech and I'm getting an arm blown off every single mission without fail. It's like, this is, this is so I bullshit. Hear <laughs> it was brutal. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what we're doing here. We're going to advance with the Cyclops, and I am going to Breaching Shot. Well, we're going to multi-target. And then we'll shoot the Rifleman with the auto cannon and have no damage reduction to it whatsoever. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. But that Quick Draw is already damaged. Okay, well. <laughs> and both of them, man, I've been really accurate with these auto cannons tonight. That's a good variant for the Rifleman. The PPC variant. I do like that. There is a uh, Rifleman in, um, yeah, two PPCs, two large lasers. The problem is that it just overheats so fast. Commander. That's the only problem with it. Yeah, I don't even have to worry about the cover Lock there. The mountain's in its way. It can't even see me. We'll just... Yeah, we'll fire more missiles at the quick draw. We may kill the quick draw here. No, but we didn't. Damn. Let's see what the turrets do. Oh, those guys showed up and killed that turret. That's what happened there. Yeah, I missed that. That's all right. Does... Does... Yep. Straight. Strike another victory for the turret brigade. That rifleman is really hot. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, shit never gets old. Aye, aye. Now I can back up a little bit. We can fire even more laser, more missiles into this rifleman. This rifleman's about to hate his life. Locked on. <laughs> Tango down. Well, we've wiped them out. We didn't even have to wait for the reinforcements. We, we took them out ourselves. And yeah, they did manage with that flanking maneuver to blow up one of the buildings. So, I mean, I give them credit, but there was no way they were defeating. They were, there was no way they were getting through us to do any severe, da any really significant damage to the whole facility as a whole. All right, now I'll take my guarantee to Ryan. Uh, yeah, we'll take eight. Yeah, Jager, right? uh, ooh, uh, actually, no. We're going to go with the... Hmm, we're going to go with the guaranteed salvage here. Because we took out its head. We like money. Not even good. But let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some good stuff. Cool. And now we'll sell that Zeus see where we're at and depending on how this goes i think the plan will be to do some kind of inventory cleanup here sell the mechs get ready for next stream whenever the next time i play battletech is 
the plan will be do a warm-up mission here, get a little more money, get the Star League Warhammer. Although we really don't need that Star League Warhammer. We really don't. Uh, although if we could afford it, we may as well do it. But uh, let's sell. Oh, right. I can do it on the mech bay. Would help if I actually paying attention here. Uh, and yeah, since we're doing that anyway, let's just send that Warhammer back down. We don't, we don't need that at this point. Let's go back up here. Store now. Sell. Sell the Warhammer. Sell the Zeus. And we have our 7 million that we were looking for. So yep, we can go over here. Let's just do this now then. Fuck it. Buy. New equipment Buy. Available. Buy. That mech you Perfect. Is for yeah, this is an extremely rare Warhammer variant. Let's also cruise over here and let's just sell anything we have an excessive amount of. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Fives. These. We definitely don't need that many medium lasers. We do generally tend to collect a lot of medium lasers. We can get these. Without many left. Same with EPCs. It really doesn't matter direction we go in here unfortunately you can't just type in a number i wish i could type in a number so it would just go faster but there just isn't one i don't know if any of the mods for this game add that i don't think they do there are some fun mods one of these days i gotta get into um the uh oh my god yeah uh one of these days i gotta get into one of the mods that um forget the name of it like it's not gba 2025 or, or, or 3025 or whatever it is uh but it's basically battletech advanced and it adds a lot of the tabletop rules and functionality into the game and i think it gives you the option to field multiple lances which is in my opinion really nice i don't need that much ammo which really isn't ammo it's really ammo Ammo loaders. Should have done that. Okay. So, yep. All right. Now we're back up to 3 million C bills post all of that. So, now let's go in here and let's play around here. So that's probably a better mech than the Marauder is. And for all intents and purposes, these are fairly interchangeable. But what's really nice about the Warhammer is uh, these optimized capacitors essentially add 20% energy damage. So when you get something <laughs> like a mech like this that has ER PPCs and double heat sinks, it can actually handle all the crazy array of shit that uh, all the crazy heat that this thing does generate. The problem is the ER PPCs do generate a lot of heat. But let's take a look here. Do we have... Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm actually debating whether or not to take off the small pulse lasers because what we could do is we could just put these machine guns on there instead of the small pulse lasers reducing the heat profile of the mech well but because they optimize capacitors the pulse lasers do more damage so yeah no let's not do that but what we will do is we're going to take away these three medium lasers and we're going to put in the plus damage variants <laughs> So that this fucker does even more damage. Take out that SRM-6. And we're going to put in the good SRM-6. Hell yeah, we are. I'm not sure if I like the idea of this missile because what this does is it adds an accuracy to the missiles. But 
You've only got an SRM-6 in here. I don't think that this is a good use of tonnage. Uh, I would much rather go in here and... Oh, do I only have this exchanger? Well, all right. You know what? I'll leave the... I'll leave the targeting computer in there. But what we will do is look for... Damn, it doesn't have a hit gyro either. That's unfortunate. Oh, the medium ride. This medium laser is in the head. So let's take... Go here. Could substitute that one for an ER medium laser. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could. Actually, I could. Because this thing doesn't have enough heat issues as it is. Good grief. That's weird that it has a... Um, an energy slot in the head. So one of the things you could do... I think this is actually what we'll do. We're going to put that on the arm. Because that makes it more likely it's going to hit anyway. And what we'll do is we'll put this over here on the arm. There we go. And then we could put in injury resist cockpit mod up here that works that's a good it's a good trade-off i would like to put a gyro in here so it doesn't take as many hits but other than that probably okay yeah we'll stick with the pulse lasers and the er ppc because this thing will have crazy range thanks to that uh, and yeah, it does an insane amount of damage. This thing does over 400 points of freaking damage. That is, uh, that is a crazy, that is a crazy amount of damage. Uh, so yeah, let's confirm that. We got a, ourselves a nice Warhammer. This will be good for Tundra environments. I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, that works. Perfect. And we are now very well positioned now. I may bring that Warhammer instead of... The Cyclops, to be honest. I could see myself doing that. Uh, I'll still keep the Cyclops over here. Uh, but the Cyclops may be a better mech than the Archer. But yeah, half the time I, I find myself reserving anyway. I guess it depends on the mission. It's still good to have. But that's part of the fun of the game is experimenting with different loadouts and seeing what you really like best. The fact that we've got two pilots with Master Tactician is really what of makes the cyclops shine but at the same time i'm not sure how i'm i'm not sure how enamored i am with it there were a couple of missions like the last mission we were able to get like a good couple of my mechs salt mechs going before heavy mechs entirely before they even got a chance to go so no defenses no evasion or anything it just seems like a very rare occasion where that's useful most of the time i'm reserving and trying to react that way it's, it seems like it's not all that often but when it is it is it can be decisive so <laughs> i need more data <laughs> but in any event actually i feel pretty good i could go again but it is 11 and uh, i do work tomorrow so i think i think this is probably a good place to call this we did get our warhammer and so just to give a quick summation of what we're doing here, the uh, forces under Lady Arano, who had her throne taken from her by her uncle, uh, at this point, forces lawyer to her have now cut the Oregon Directorate in half. So to me, like the jig's up. If I said this earlier before kind of people trickled in, so this might be a little redundant. I'm not going to go too much into depth. But I mean, to me, if you're Director Espinoza, this is the part where you try to sue for peace. You've lost your Torian ally. Shit's fucked. <laughs> like, there's no, there's really no way out of this. But he's going to be stubborn and try to hold out uh, against all odds to see if he could hold on to Cormadir. But I mean, any kind of rational actor at this point would try to figure out a negotiated settlement uh, to some extent. And also, if you if this is your throne world and you love your people and everything else, like I almost think of like Ling from Full Metal Alchemist. It's like, if, if it's, if it's game over, why would you put, put your people through that? So um, it's anyway, but uh, yeah, we're going to quit the desktop. We're going to save. 
Life is good. Good night, Nikki. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, I want to thank everybody who dropped by tonight. We had fun. It was a nice, it was a nice night. We're going to switch in here and get things started. Let's see who's still up uh, and see who we might want to raid out to. Who's, uh, who's up here? We got, uh, well, we got, we got Darkstar. We got Aussie. I'm almost, uh, uh, I might, uh, yeah, I really don't want to, I don't want to spoil myself anything with Final Fantasy Rebirth. So, uh, yeah, why don't we, why don't we raid Aussie and, uh, engage in the vulgarity? We'll, we'll, we'll hang out while we watch some Sea of Thieves, uh, <laughs> leading into that segue for, uh, Kara and, uh, possibly Nikki. Playing, uh, playing some Sea of Thieves this weekend. And, uh, but I'll catch up with everybody in all due time. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got, I think I got everything, everything else going there. Uh, brief channel update while we figure out, while I get this raid set up here. Uh, the plan will be to play Link to the Past on Saturday. Uh, probably we'll be playing that in the afternoon. But otherwise, we'll do some more Oath of Fulgana at the, uh, um, doo -doo -doo, where's the button? There it is. Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess Aussie signed off for the night. I don't see her. So she must have just signed off. But you know what? We'll, we'll just call this a night here. That worked out. But uh, in any event, I want to thank everybody for coming by. I will see everybody either for Link to the Past on Saturday or more Oath of Filgana on Sunday night. Until next time, have a good one, everyone. Ciao.